gave us that land. And we cannot allow anyone from Anugu to come and take it from us. It will never happen. Never! Oh, yeah? Shut up! Shut up! I said you shut up! I said you should shut up! Shut up. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Get him out there! Look at this! Shut, shut up! Shut up! You can do it! Huh? Who fed you with such rubbish? Eh? Ah, nonsense! Look at you! How dare you open your mouth and run your tongue as if you are suffering from diarrhea of the tongue? Oh, what is wrong with you? Shut up! Do you know the heat of that land? That land belongs to all of us! The people of my new clan from the beginning to today. Look what are you sitting here talking rubbish? Look at you, Shiko. Who told you that? Me. Yes. You call me Shiko. Hey, Look at you. Eh? In my Japanese book, you can know. Let me tell you something. If you dare me, I will, I will do it to you. Don't yeah. ever try it. Okay. Where are you? Then I'm going. You don't want to talk that nonsense with your mouth. Oh, Never kill him. Yes, talk it to me. Ah, you you find that situation. Shut down. Shut down. Elders. elders. Let's behave like elders. Ah ah. Why must we make noise before the king? I don't hear me. I want you to put the shut up. And if I hear him, I say, I'll break your head. What's wrong with you? Shut up there. Look at this. This is cheap. Must you have a shut up? We shut up! Look at you! We don't have a shut up! 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 You now smoke in their hand. You should never lie. If not for the fact that you are an uncle, I would have given you a whole slap. For all that problem, the water would have regulated your medulla of your gut. And designed your face to the point that if your local government ever sees you, he will not be able to recognize you. Natasha. You retarded bastard. What, mother? What? Natasha. What, father? Father, these people are all people. Slow the sentence. No, 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 nothing. It's not going to I think some, 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 some rat was stuck. Look at you. Natasha. Natasha. Natasha, are you aware you are talking to the others? Excuse me. How dare you say you slap my own head up at that phone? You know, when you're talking, it's as if you talk to us and stop. You look like a mini mouse. How the hell do you talk? How do you breathe? Father, these are all crumbs. Look at you. You're still talking. Now I want you to take your retarded selves out of this palace right now. Get down! I am a lizard! No. I am. I am. Why are you now running away? Well, that's the hell. That's taking some old rotten fish. Some fresh How do you like freaking me? Oh my goodness. Huh? Natasha! Are you so fat? What is it? Natasha, what is going on with you? You have no audacity whatsoever to talk to the elders. The lawmakers of this kingdom like that. How dare you? I look at you talking like some Apollo patient. Look at you talking like this. Like I can follow patient do some transferring classes. And you think you're a man. You are a mini idiot. Now take your bastard self out of this place right now. Oh no, you don't want to put you in you don't want to do that, right? Get out! Look at that! What's your shoes? Get out! Look at him, you're not supposed to. in such manners. How will she? You heard her. 
insulted you know of this kingdom. My own brother. You heard that? She called him a mini mouse. The other one of the other of my kinsmen, she called him a, a, a man with a, a, a rat mustache. Am I going to talk about that of Okeke? She insulted Okeke. She said she was strong Okeke. Didn't you hear that? That Okeke is taken. That Okeke is an Omicron. Yes, you heard that. No, I can see she's on a cheap drug. And I can't take that from her. I can't. Good man, you better talk to your daughter. Talk to your daughter. What's the meaning of this? That's madness! Never! We built that palace! Never! Never! We never allowed them to take our land! We built that palace! Aliuku will not come and ride over us! Even if they like, let them use the princess to distort our plans. We must reclaim our land. They must hear from us. We have not started anything. Seven lands. Seven they want to claim from us. No, it will not happen. They must hear from us. Let's go. We must surely come back. Let's go. My brother. Do you know that the princess has become so mannerless that she disregards all the elders? And even we, her uncles. <sighs> My brother, Natasha is a crazy princess. Yes, I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. I don't. If only she knows what she did, mm -hmm. she wouldn't have ordered us to leave the palace. And do you know my worst worry? Mm. Our own brother, His Majesty could not do anything about her trances. I am speechless on him. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Digo has to do something about this. Hey, hey, my brother, but do you know that that issue was unresolved? Before that girl, that brat, that calls herself the princess, came in and brought in everything. But I must say, that land belongs to any people and the clan has that land my brother let me tell you something i won't allow my clan to perpetrate evil against our brothers my brother i must tell you we will resolve the issue there is no problem hmm? yes there is a, there is problem the elders are at the bricks of killing each other and your friend has no problem. Eh? But I'll keep saying it that any clan has that land. That land does not belong to us. My brother, okay. okay. Eh? Go home and rest. We will resolve the matter. Eh? It's a promise. Eh? Yes. If you say so. And I'm. And I'm. My regards to your people. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. Wow. Mm. I learned uh, Princess Natasha drove you and the rest elders out of the palace today. We? Oui. Yes. That's not me. <laughs> now, was that not what you were discussing with Mazi Okeke not long ago? And you decided to propose. Why must you put your mouth in every discussion I'm having with my brothers at all time? Ah. Hey, well, anyway, well, I'm very sorry. You know, go. But look at me very well. Though. Don't don't transfer your anger on me. The last time I checked, I am not Princess Natasha. Would you allow me to eat this food, please? Go back and mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> Okay, I will mind my business, and my business will mind me. Mm. Mano Seti, 
don't come to me. Oh. When the latest will happen, don't come to me because I'll be minding my business. In fact, as from now onwards, I'm going to be on my own. From here, even in the bedroom. Eh? Oh, thank you, Nabba. Let's have it. Let's have it for the man. This is our business. Hey, hey. I don't want to go to Nabba. Go to Nabba again, man. What will happen at night now? What is your stake in the land disputes between the two clans that are under your jurisdiction? Woman, I am trying to settle down my head now. My major concern is to see Natasha leave this palace for good. I don't understand what you mean. Suitors. A strong suitor that can endure her madness. She has embarrassed me enough. It's okay, darling. But remember, she's our only daughter. And you know how much you adore her. I don't, woman. She's just good at the family business. I wish her twin brother can be good as her. I allowed her money the company because she's perfect with administrative works. But all the same, she has to get married and leave. It's okay. But please, take this easy with her. Do you know that our daughter drove away her suitor, asking him to work on a site? To work as a laborer? I mean, do you know the degree of insult to such a great man? Darling. Honestly, I don't know what to say about that. It's so unbelievable. I mean, where can you see a woman behaving so strange to her suitors? Natasha, she is a case. You called me my princess. Where have you been for the past two hours? I took permission from you, my princess. That's not my question, and I hate to repeat it myself. My princess, I took permission from you to go for a photo section with my husband to be with Izuna. And I didn't stay up to 30 minutes. I'm back here. You saw me. You're fired. What? You heard me. This office will not accept anyone who is as loose as you are. I don't understand it. You went to do some photo shoot with some loser, some buffalo, some wretched thing, that godforsaken maggot that calls himself a man? Oh, please. I beg your pardon, my princess. Izuna is my husband-to-be and not some cheap whore. I took permission from you and I came back 30 minutes. You gave me two hours. Why are you firing me? Are you by any chance raising your voice at me? Is that what you are doing? I detest people like you. People who are so loose and cheap. So because that thing managed to get some engagement ring from some zoo or whatever, I mean, I don't even know where he got it from, proposed to you, all you did was sheepishly accept it. I can understand that we come from the same lineage, but the last time I checked, we are not running shortage of men, are we? So you expect me to let you work in this company, married to that wretched idiot, that midget that calls himself Isuna, so you can continue to steal from the company, right? So you're able to feed him and your ancient children, I mean your supposed children too, to be precise. I beg your pardon. Don't insult my fiancé. You know me too well, my princess. I have been hardworking, loyal and dedicated to this company. And you know the family where I come from. I have never stolen from this company. Please, do not insult me. Are you done? I mean, I understand that we have gaps in our language, but please, could you at least curtail it? You can yell at me fine, but not spit on my pro max. Now take your tacky self out of my office. Get out before I call the cops to you! I 
flesh. Bring back your Omicron self. This is your retarded letter. I am please do not spoil my door. Your generation can't even afford it. Omicron patient. It's okay. Why would she do a thing like that? Why would she suck you? Eh? Why would she suck you? All oh, because you're you are you are, you are, you are getting married. Uh -huh. Eh? See, don't worry. By the time your father comes back, <laughs> he will definitely do something about it. Inugo, stop crying and mom, Mama, stop crying. Mama, you will not understand. Do you know that she insulted my fiance? She did that? And called him all sort of name, Mama. I need to see. Ah, ah! That is my anger. What is wrong with that, Natasha? <laughs> eh? It's all right. Calm down. It's okay. You don't spoil this your beautiful face for me. Uh -huh. What's happening here? Your father is here. Father, no. Another one has happened. Though. Why are you crying? Another one has happened, though. Natasha Kanaya. What? Mm -hmm. Natasha fired you? Mm How? -hmm. Oh, why? Papa, Papa, do you know that I took permission from her to go see you, Zuna, as we scheduled for our photo section? Can you imagine? Then she gave me two hours. Papa, I went there. I came back 30 minutes. I beat the time, Papa. But I don't know what I did to her. She, she sucked me. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. She has no such right. No, she has no right to sack my daughter in oh. that company. She is not even the king, not the prince. Oh. I must go and see my king. I must go and see my brother and we'll make sure we trash this nonsense. Something must be done about it. No, I have to go. Huh? <laughs> I'm coming. Take it easy, Obi Kopa. I am coming. Take it easy. Oh, she even gave you two hours. After giving you to her, she still sucked you. She she has no right, don't worry. I'm sure your father will do something about it. Don't worry. She sucked me. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are mumbling off yourself. I hope there's no problem. But what, can you imagine? You? What happened? Can you imagine? I am going straight to the palace. What happened? Princess Natasha sacked my own daughter from the company. For no reason. For no reason. You see? You see what I told you about that girl that calls herself Natasha or what? No, I was going. We can't have it. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Let's go, please. Let's go. Ah, can you imagine? For people that want to marry her, they also marry the company. What? What have you done to deserve all this? You are loyal. You are humble. You are hardworking. You are respectful. You know I've been telling you that this your cousin princess is so uncultured and arrogant, but you wouldn't listen. Now it has happened to you. What nonsense? Who does she think she is? Is she the only princess in this life? What? Okay. This cannot be happening to us. This cannot be happening to us now that I'm about to get married. Now that we are about to get married, don't be. Why are you asking? My love, it's alright. It's not the end of life. Hmm? You will find a better job and put her to shame. I am making you a promise today. I must help you find a better job. But why? What have I done to her? What have I done to her? <laughs> no, no, no. This, this, this cannot be happening to me. This cannot be happening to me. Why is she wicked? Why is she heartless? What have I done to her? My love, I don't want you to lose hope. Huh? Stop sounding this way. Like I said earlier, 
I will make sure you find a better job and put her to shame. But this is breaking my heart. It's breaking my heart. I thought she was happy for me. I thought so. This, this is not happening to me. This is not okay, happening. It's okay, it's okay. Please, let's go inside. Let's go. Stop crying. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying, stop crying. Your Highness, I see no cogent reason for my daughter to be relieved from the company. We are families. The princess has no right. I mean, she has no right to terminate my daughter's duty. We all know how depressed and frustrating things can be now when one loses her job. Not even at this very lost time when things are very hard. Woman, have you seen what your daughter is doing? I don't want to believe this rubbish. Father, this madness has to stop. Your Majesty. May I ask Please take it easy. Your Highness, we all are families. The princess has to be called to order. All the use of Annie and Danyuku work in that company. If she's not called to order, she might be causing great problem to herself and to the kingdom. What has she done to you? I also fired him in a game. Did they also tell you about that? What? What the hell did they do to you? Uh, Natasha, <laughs> or maybe you've forgotten the uh, our cousin. That is when you have a problem. I am trying so hard to make you understand. And this is just not a cause a charity organization like some Zeni bank where you have to just come because they had some, I mean, some little had the privilege to belong to your life. You now feel they can do anything they want. I will take such. I will never condone such. Not in this country. I say so. Natasha. That's my name. I'll what the hell has come over you? You and I know that these people did nothing to you. <laughs> now I demand you call them back with immediate effect. May I perish if I do so. I will never, ever call them back. And let me remind you, Father handed over this company to me, not you. So when it comes to the running affairs of this company, you do not have a right to say one word or to contribute anything at all. And let me remind you, please, consider the ones that before you get into my office, you should at least knock. Come on, don't tell me that Father wasted all his money taking you to school just to become a numbhead. No, you're better than that. Don't be stupid. Shut my door behind you. Now I see where all this is coming from. But I assure you, soon you will meet your Waterloo. You will leave this company very soon. You will be going back to that feminist country where you are coming from. I assure you. Mm, and please, on your way out, make sure you use a sanitizer. 
I do not want some home sergeant coming to my office with some of my current devices. I mean, viruses I'm not going to take. Get the hell out, please. You don't just fetch the thing. I mean, tell me a man who wears royalty with some horse hair on his head like some dummy ass Egypt. No way! It will never happen! Eh? How can she sack her relation? Eh? And my son has never committed any crime in that company. I have not done anything, no. I have never done anything bad in that company. In fact, I am the best in that company. I single-handedly made that company the best company in this town because of my hard work, everything I, I put in that company. Why would she sack me? I don't know. My cousin, for that matter. Don't make matters worse. She told the security men to throw me out. Eh? I was humiliated today like a common thief. Can you imagine? By my own sister. Eh? What process is this one now? That was how she sacked uh, Adana, her cousin. For no just reason. Eh? Papa, Papa, let me just tell you the truth now. That princess, Natasha, that girl is a witch. She's a devil herself. Let me tell you what um, Adana did. Mm -hmm. Adana went to the princess. Mm -hmm. She told the princess that she wants to go out and take photo shoots mm -hmm. because of her forthcoming wedding uh -huh. with Izuna. Princess told Adana, okay, go. She even gave her extra two hours to go do whatever she wants to do. Take her pictures, take time, and then come back to the office normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I went downstairs. I saw her crying. Mm -hmm. I asked her, Adana, why are you crying? What is the problem? She said that the princess fired her. That the princess sacked her because uh, the princess felt that she will embezzle the company's money and feed it to, with uh, Izuna. You know, imagine our own sister, our cousin, doing this to us. What kind of nonsense is this? That girl is mad. That Natasha is mad. She I think the king will do something about this. What nonsense? What am I going to do now? Eh? Because I'm jobless right now. I need, I need to work. Thanks. Nonsense. Yes, Natasha. I asked you to manage my business with your brother. I never asked you to sack anyone. But you don't have the right, the infantry, to sack any of my staff without my consent. I own the business. I ask you to manage it. Yes, there is no doubt you are, you are doing wonderfully well. But you know what? I want those staffs you sacked to resume work first thing tomorrow morning. She caught my call and flaunt my orders. She disrespected me. What has come over you? Why are you against your father? Mother? Are you not fit, mother? If you're here to tell me the same thing Father has been telling me, that I'm also here to tell you that you are wasting your damn time. I see. Now let me ask you. Who do you think you are? Queen of England? Mother, you can call me whatever you want to call me. I am a young woman, an African woman who does nothing but take care of her father's company. This is not some time to myself for some cousins and nephews. We don't want that here. Please. If anyone messes up, I'll fire the person. We have so many people working in that company that are not from our kingdom. Not even our tribe. And you call that charity organization? Yes, let me ask you. What did your cousins do to you that made you sack them? Mother, it does not matter what they do or what they didn't do. I would not support or encourage nepotism and favoritism in my father's company. I won't. My yes, dear Natasha, go and open your own company and practice whatever you call rule and policy. Not in my own husband's company. And let me tell you, if you keep on breathing arrogance in this company and in this palace, you will have yourself to blame at last. Mother, I don't yes. care what you say. You are talking to your eyes. I don't know what you say, mother. But anyone that messes up in that company will get his or her son fired and that's final. I am Peter Sasha. If you cannot get to my rules of policy, do not come to my father's company. I'm going to need some tight transition for some hungry, wretched, useless, demented nephews and cousins. Uh. I don't know. My prince, 
You see, we, my father and I, have decided to reinstate you two back to your formal jobs. But you need to give us some time because we need to sort some things out. Mm -hmm. Ha. Ha. This one you said um, we should give you guys some time. Ha. My brother, this is Nigeria. Some time can take, you know, up to five years. Some time can even take up Ten to eternity. Years. Ten years, you know. So please, we need results. Mm -hmm. eh? You're my brother. You're my cousin. You're our prince. We believe in you. That is why we are, I'm here with my sister today. I did nothing wrong to your sister. I did nothing wrong to Princess Natasha. In fact, I and my sister here, we did nothing wrong to her. She just sacked us like that. Okay, uh, fine. The only thing now that I can remember was when I told her I have a serious relationship. And then she said that, no, that I cannot have a serious relationship while I'm working in the company. That I have to drop my girlfriend. And if you check my record, the records are straight. I've been working there. Every, I put everything to make sure that company remains the best today. I even brought my file. You can go through it, my friends, if you have time. Check it. Everything, excellent, excellent. I don't have any problem in that company. I even told her that I have been dating this my girlfriend now for the past three and a half years. And this company, there is no time that they have called me and said, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing my work right. Nothing at all. Everybody knows me. They like me in that company. Please, you know, we, we actually came because... You are a man. You are the prince of this land. You have to do something for us. Eh? Help us. I need this work back. Biko. It's not a problem, just like I told you now, that everything has been put in place for you two to start up again. Huh? Okay. Uh, once again, thank you very much for coming. <clears throat> Adana. My prince. Thank you for coming, okay? Thank you for listening. I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. You need me to ask them to bring more drinks or you want something to eat? Okay. We want to know when we will go back to the work. Huh? You are jobless. I mean, okay, I'll make sure it is as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Ugona, my friend, I cannot stop you from coming from my sister's hand in marriage. But I'll tell you the truth, as a friend, you cannot handle Natasha. Leave that for me, Desmond. Okay. Really? She's a woman for Christ's sake. And we are all royals. So tell me, what is there for me not to handle? Tell me. <sighs> Don't tell you one. Because Natasha is my crazy twin sister. A hard nut to crack. She's so rigid, you can never predict her next move. I wonder how you, a gentleman like you, can handle that. That's the type of my woman. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Listen, you may not understand. But I want to marry her and make her my wife to the rest of my life. Yes. <laughs> Very well. I wish you best of luck. Now you're talking. <laughs> now you're talking. Girl. You should have worked with Adrian, I did not call you here to tell me what to do with my staff. I am sorry. But you have to understand that you have no concrete reason for relieving them of their duties. Well, I do have the right. Especially when their relationship nonsense is beginning to affect my company. I fear you. Babe, I am not intimidating for anyone. <sighs> but you have to understand that they have their lives too. You don't expect them to be in an affair with the company, date the company, marry the company, or any of that. It is only when you notice that their relationship with their spouse is affecting them, or maybe affecting the company. That is when you stand up and take a stand. You don't get it, Midway, to you. I do not like noticing, not at all. You should be able to concentrate on your job. As a matter of fact, I love commitment. Please. 
I do not want to notice. Natasha, I know you don't like being in love with men. I know you don't like being in love or being having anything with men. But you have to understand that you you can't just simply pause people's lives just because you don't believe or like what they are doing. You know what? At this point, I think I'm changing this topic. You know, I actually called you here so you can keep me busy. Tell me some trendy stuff and all that. It's not intimidating for my staff. What's I'm that? Sorry. I am sorry, I'm sorry. Just change the topic. I'm please. sorry, Your Majesty. At least you're drinking. What do your family drink? Well, I'm sure you know that I sacked my secretary. There's no one to give a drink. I'm not saying you serve yourself. I better call the girl, make should drink the drink. Now, me Saka. The priest. Hmm. No so scared. Uh -huh. I can't believe that His Majesty has not treated this matter. It is two days now since the princess sacked my daughter from the company. Unjustly, unjustly. I am not satisfied with what I'm hearing. Not at all. Papa, don't worry. I've told you times with that number. Don't worry yourself. Eh? Isuna is making arrangement for me to work in a very big company. Mm. Yes. I can survive without the princess. Huh. Please, don't worry yourself. Huh? In fact, I am shocked. I am still shocked to my bones. How can a sister be so jealous about her own sister's progress? Come to think of it in nine. First, she advised Adana to leave Izuna. Secondly, she told her, or rather, she advised her not to have anything called relationship. Is she going to marry my daughter? Or you are losing one. In fact, if you ask me, this is pure wickedness. No. I will still meet my brother the king. Huh. Yes. I will not allow the unruly behavior of the princess to get to my family. Mama, it will not happen. Papa, Mama, I have told you people to forget about this matter now. Forget about it. You're stretching this matter out. Please, let it go. It's her father's company. If she wants to eat it or swallow it, that's her own business. It's none of my business. Huh? Please, forget about it. You see, eh? I know I am not from your royal family. But you see the family where I come from. We don't have this level of wickedness. Woman, woman, mind your words. Mama, this matter is getting irritated. You guys are making me, it's getting, getting out of hand. Why is treating this matter now? Is she important? My brother, this is so sad. You see, uh, <clears throat> I've heard so much about this, your cousin. You call Princess Natasha, or whatever. But I never believed she could be this heartless in this new generation. My brother, I don't know what else to say. Like, I am tired. I am totally tired. I don't know what I did. If I'm wrong or right. At least, if I'm wrong, I would face the consequences. But I did nothing wrong. How can the princess ask a full-grown man like me to leave my girlfriend? Because I'm working for her that I'm being distracted, the company that I've worked for over four years, and there was no atom of questioning. There was no atom of sanctioning. Nobody called me and said I'm not doing my duties right. A girl I've dated for over three and a half years now. The princess woke up one morning and fired me and said I'm losing concentration, that I'm being unreasonable, that I should, you know, leave the company just like that. To make matters worse, she even told me that I should break up with Amaka, my girlfriend, and then come back and work for the company. So that means I was fired for no just cause. <laughs> this is funny, serious. This is funny. You see that your cousin? She could be unbelievable. <clears throat> now, let me ask you. What do you want to do now? My brother, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this man you're seeing here is jobless. Hi. I have told uh, uh, mm. Prince Desmond about it. He said he will see a way to settle it. But you know him now. He doesn't have a say mm -hmm. when the princess is talking. So I'm not capitalizing on him at all. 
no hope for that guy. The only thing now is I'm just looking for a job. I'm job hunting. Anyone I see, I will just, you know, start managing. I don't have a job right now. Um, well, <clears throat> Emily, my friend, I, all I have to say for now is, I wish you were. I don't know, I wish you were. She's like a sassa fly under my balls. If not, I would have sucked her, not minding who she is to me. Your Majesty, I truly understand your pain, but there are other better ways. To handle matters like this. She disrespected me. My brothers, even the elders. Why? Why? Darling, I know. But oh, please take it easy. I promise you. She will soon realize her mistakes. No problem. I hope so. Well, I do not usually accept this type of um, meetings. But since you're here with your acrylic self, you can go straight to the point. I'm listening. Thank you. You're welcome. You were able to notice that that is what you are. Well, whatever you want to tell me, please say it now. My time counts. Well, I understand. I do. You managing your father's company with your brother. You're really doing well. I commend you for that. Managing my father's company myself. Thank you all the same. Straight to the point. I will go straight to the point like you said. I will. Well, I've been so close to this family for long. Your brother happens to be my very good friend. I think I like you and I would like to seek for your hand in marriage. First of all, I do not like Mama House to come to the palace to tell me that they like, I mean, they think. What are you thinking about? How to make more money or what? How to, I mean, increase your initiatives, your intellectual thing? No, I don't like it. It is either you like me or you love me. So which one? I love you, Princess Natasha. I do. That's and nice. I'll I want to make you my It's okay. I do not have a problem with that. In other words, you're saying that you're able to take whatever love, punishment, whatever I tell you to do, you are ready to do it. Because that is the only way I'm going to be handing over myself to you as a queen. What level of punishment are you talking about? That's well, it's not like a punishment. They call it a love punishment. You will love it. So the question is, are you willing to do whatever I ask you to do? Very well then. I'm ready. That's the spirit. That means you're ready to pull down as a rock for me. I mean, by the time you're done with the punishment, your hair will become more scruffy. That's nice. Whatever for you. Oh, you <laughs> you I sincerely apologize for the current situation regarding to the relief of duty of your children in my company. Wrongly done by my daughter. However, I have decided to pay them three months upfront salaries and um, three months upfront allowances. Wishing them well in their endeavors. Your Highness, wait, Chero, are you trying to tell me that Natasha is above the law? Or are you trying to tell me that she has the final say in the company? What of her brother, the prince? 
My dear brother, if you have listened very well in what I said, you understand that I am in no agreement to this. To avoid further coerce to the both families, I think we will let go the attitude and the stubbornness of my daughter. Let's move forward. I think I don't have uh, any other thing to say more than what I have just said. <clears throat> um, your Majesty. Yes, you are the king. But we are your brothers. We are brothers. Uh, no doubt, oh, the company belongs to you. Yes. Um, I carefully listened to all you have said. And I understand it. Mazo Kege. Oladia. Oladia. Your Majesty, if I were the owner of that company, I would have slapped my daughter for such silly acts. Well, is that right? And then, Your Majesty, what? What do you want me to do? Your brothers are angry. They are angry. Your daughter has refused to leave my company alone, and Desmond is not strong enough to manage the business. What do you want me to do? Your words are not kind. But I have promised to give them money. At least if they are judicious in management, they can make good out of it. Huh? What do you want me to do again? Honestly speaking, you sound so unconcerned. At least your brothers expected you to caution our daughter. Call her to order. Woman, you are talking nonsense. As a matter of fact, I am done with this conversation. Uh, Papa, how did this go? My son, prepare and go to the city. I understand that what is yours is yours. Your brother's property can never be yours. Prepare, you'll be going to the city. Um, this way, please. We're here. I actually... What are we doing here, if I may ask? Um, this is where I have to test the type of love you have for me. I wanted to know whether you have a perpetual love, spiritual, or maybe an agape love. So let's start from here. I want you to clear this whole land. Up, you see the uncompleted building there? There are two buildings away from it. You're going to clear this whole place to that point. I want to use the space for some... Of an age home, I want to build something nice for them. Do you think you can do it? But I'm a prince. I am a princess as well. Do you need to pass all the girls in the whole houses before you came to the palace to marry me? I am a princess and you know my words, that's why you came. How do you expect me to do that? How do you expect me to stoop so low to marry a canker one like you, a bliss eat just like you? Hello? All you need to do is clear the whole place, let my guards let me know. I will be in my exotic room receiving some air condition. Excuse me. You don't mean it. <laughs> you and I know that I am not, I mean, I will never. I can't be under a man, it's not possible. I can't be any man's wife. I mean, no man on this earth is worth it. Hello? Well, I know that you still fall for someone one day. Trust me. I mean, how can a princess of Annie and a new kingdom be saying all of this? 
And you asked a prince, a crowned prince, to clear a bush just to prove his love and loyalty for you. Really? Is that all? I only asked him to clear just a bush. What if I asked him to clear the whole country? Listen, if you want me, I don't care about your status. I don't care about your class. I've got my own class, I've got my own money. For you to have me, you need to do something about it. If it means you clearing the whole house so rock, do it. So please, yeah. only give me minor punishment. Go, man. Man. But, but wait. How do you deal with your sexual life? I mean, since you are being blunt. Why are you asking me about my sexual life, Madrid? I need to know now, Nne. Are you not a woman again? Jesus, I mean, are. I don't want people to talk. For me, I have my man and I'm clinging to him, girl. Very <laughs> obvious. I mean, you're clinging to your man to the point of beginning to look like a man. Whatever, please. Like I said, I am not going to reduce myself to the point of answering a man's wife. No, I won't do that. I've got my own class. I've got my own money. No matter what your class and your status is, if you cannot do some certain things to prove to me that you love me, then you can as well go to hell. That's it. That's on a period. Is. Mm -mm. Well, since you wanted to know about my sexual life, let's just say I have some people I call and they are at my beck and call. So no fret. Now you need to stop watching yourself with my sexual life. As for me, being humble and staying under a man, it will never, ever happen. Oh yeah? Oh girl, I got you. Oh, of course, you should. I feel you. You should. When you guys are done clearing here, remember we are still clearing the other side. We need the water. Water, water. I'll bring water. I'll send for them to get water. My friends. Now, hospital won't be there. She said orphanage home. Yeah. For people who don't get papa. Papa. Something like that. Why is this place not clear? Keep doing it. What the hell is going on here? My love, as you can see, my boys are doing the job. And very soon, they're going to be through. <laughs> Your boys are doing the job? I told you, I can do anything for you. I asked you to do a simple task. Clyde the bush and you went to go call your boys to clear the bush. What's that? No, tell me, is your boys, I mean, are your boys going to clear my bush when it's growing? Uh, my, my what kind of a woman being are you? Please. You are nothing but a bleached canker woman. That is what you are. How do you expect me to be clearing this bush by myself? And how do you expect me to stoop so low to marry an idiot like you? I am a prince. You are a prince. A sweaty prince. What will people say when they see me clearing And what will the people say if they see me marrying someone like you? Now you listen to me. This is the situation where I'm going to drop you. The next time I see you in my father's palace again, I'm going to set you ablaze. And please, the next time you want to get married to a princess or come to a palace, make sure you apply a Roland or better say show under your fucking ambit. Nigga. My princess, don't do this. This is not fair. What nonsense? It's not pride, it's royalty. Guys, do your job. Do your. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just. <laughs> ah, I told you. She wouldn't listen. Now look at it. Guy, can you please help me talk to her? Talk to her for me, please. Talk to her for me. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. The Natasha I know would not look your way the second time. She has thrown your case inside the waste bin and trashed it outside. Besides, do you know how many shooters she has done the same thing to? I'll advise you as a friend. Find a decent girl and make her your wife. And better still, there are lots of other beautiful princesses in other kingdoms. Pick one. Make her your wife and have peace. 
So, what was that funny task for? What was that for? <laughs> You're lucky she didn't ask you to wash the toilet. Oh, yeah? <laughs> My daughter. Mother. Why do you drive suitors away with your so-called marriage task? Mara, do you want me to go into a wrong marriage? Is that what you want from me? I do not wish you that. But the way you treat this man like a piece of trash, trying their love for you, at least you have to consider one of them. <laughs> but I don't see why I have to consider what I do not like. What are we talking about here? Talking about getting married to a man, right? What does the man have that I do not have? Money? Class? What? Please. This is serious. Mother, please. If you do not mind, I would like to focus on the family business and I do not want any side distraction. Please. The father must hear this. Fine. Be my guest. If your boats are clean, why not? Prince Ugona, I presume that you came to my office, business inclined. This is an office I do not have a tout. I'm sure you're aware of that. To what do I owe this visit of yours? Princess Natasha, please. Can you hear me out? Okay, fine. I promise to throw away my ego and do whatever you want me to do for you. Please, can you give me the second chance? In my world, we do not have second chance. Maybe where you come from in your animal kingdom, you guys do. I mean, I don't. I am a princess, for goodness sake. If you were a man, you should be able to know what you want and what you don't want. You should be able to straight your future, right? You don't have to wait until you lose something before you know the what of the person, do you? Any other thing? I beg of you, please. Give me the second chance. This or whatever you call yourself, I'm losing it. You cannot walk into my office to distract me from doing my job. I will not take it. It is either I call the security to throw you out, or I will send you to Crickly where people like you belong. I mean, it shows how lazy you are and how jobless you are. As a prince that met a woman in an office, you should know I am busy. Now, to the you that I step out of my office and shut the damn door behind you. Now! So this is what you reduced yourself to. <laughs> Look at them. Two hungry, wretched, stinking love eggs. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, thinking you're from my lineage, I thought you would have some senses. But now, nah. mm -hmm. they're not intact. Both are they alone? They're not alright. So you left your job that eats you 330,000 naira for this thing. Now what do you think you're actually wearing? A Gucci? If you see a Gucci, can you attest to it? Hello? I am so disappointed at you. After wasting your time going to school, I thought you knew your royalty. Look at your hair. You look so unkept. What are you wearing? Atomic Hill finger? This your red looks like it was red. Just washed up, yeah? Like it's so obvious. But you're picking from. I can't believe this. Among all the, the shape of the head of the whole guys in this village, you chose this. Who does that? I thought you had senses, oh my goodness, God. So this is your last bus stop. The shape of head, zero. Pocket, zero. Leather dispens, zero. Your nose, zero, all your full face, poverty full face. Who does that? Who does that? Uh, uh, princess, princess, listen, listen. I don't want you to insult me. If Do not you insult ever me. ever talk back at me again, I will make sure I take you to the theater to restructure your head at once. Enough! Have you lost your senses and don't you dare talk to me like that? Enough! You are my cousin. 
But I'm so disappointed in you. You're not worth the title. No. You know what? You are non-existent. So take your non-existing self into your non-existing car and drive to your non-existing direction. Oh, no. And in case my condition pains you so much, oh, my right God. there you will see a transformer. Hug into it and scratch yourself or barbecue yourself for all I care. And you know what? I, I mean, talking with you guys alone, I'm telling you so. Oh, as tiny as your legs are, and I'm sure that is how tiny you are down there, you could not even wait for a minute. You've already downloaded your poverty inside my cousin. What is she carrying? I'm sure you're carrying a head of poverty. The great grandfather of the poverty. That's what you have in there as a child. Congratulations. Let's go, let's go. No, I'm gonna give you a lift into the boat. Are you sure you don't know? You don't even have a car. Ah! Come on! I will buy them and that. Oh, come on, enter the boot, please. Oh, my please. boot is big enough for your poverty taken wretched generation. Hey. Life! Whatever! My love, I feel like spraying you bundles of money for that your display today on Princess Natasha. <laughs> uh -uh. No, no, she thinks she has mouths. <laughs> she thinks she has mouths. Like I should be shivering because I've met with a demigoddess, Princess Natasha. <laughs> As you mean, I told her what I wanted to tell her. She would think about her life. But wait. Jokes apart, Obi. Jokes apart. Mm. You have bad math. <laughs> you have bad math. What to? How can you tell our own princess Natasha to go and hug a transformer? <laughs> to go and barbecue herself on a transformer? Is she a catfish? See, that one is small compared to what I wanted to vomit to her. I mean, how can Princess Natasha despise men so much? God forbid. Is she a lesbian? Am I her co-lesbian? No, oh, no, nah, you are her former secretary, so you should have known more about her. I don't know anything about her life. I was only her secretary. So <laughs> you're asking me if she's a lesbian, do I know? Well, let's forget about the princess, eh? Let's <laughs> enjoy ourselves. Because, <laughs> in fact, eh, I wish I had money. I would have celebrated what you did today. <laughs> eh? You really gave it to her. Yes, so. <laughs> in fact, let me feed you, because I'm so happy. <laughs> you, in fact, I'm so proud of you. Let me feed you. No, I want to meet. Oh, we'll meet. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Sorry, you have to add a tempo. I mean, what's this? You're not massaging a baby's paw. Okay, okay. Massage, massage. You don't you understand what is a massage? I'm sorry. Princess. Easy. You're not massaging a tree. Where the hell did they get this fat news from? Let me have the report I asked you to get for me. Where is it? Is your back? I mean, is your back going to read it? Or you're such a dummy? Please. What's that stench like your anus? Damn. Okay, so this is the report, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't really trust this report. I think I'll be taking it to my doctor so he will run a proper test with you. Meanwhile, continue with the massage and please take it easy. I don't understand. Is it like you're scared of? Massaging my leg or what? Besides, why are you having a scruffy look on your bed? You look like someone who hasn't eaten three square meals all his life. Have you had food today? You know, I think my maiden should get to something that has a vitamin Q and C. Maidens! Oh, maybe food. Proper food, right? You look too dry for my liking. I don't like it. I mean, your nails so dirty. Have you? Just, you know what? Just go wash your hands. Sanitize yourself and then come back. 
despite protecting my husband's image in the presence of Princess Natasha today, I think she's somehow right. This marriage has been a marriage of marriage since I became pregnant. The government have refused to pay teachers' salaries for past four months, if not for my parents' help. I would have been in a serious situation by now. Just look at me. I mean, take a good look at me. 100,000 Naira salary with 35,000 Naira allowance. I sacrifice all. I mean all because of marriage. <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful cousin. Good morning. Why are you so happy today? What's going on? Guess what? I can't actually guess. What is it? Come on, I'll guess. I can't. I said yes. <laughs> you said yes to I don't understand. Oh, come on. I said yes to the man of my dream. My husband to be. <laughs> I mean, as cheap as that ring looks, it actually shows that the man you're getting married to is a broke ass nigger boy. I mean, who does that come with it? Why would you even accept such man in the first place? That's government school teacher, a man that you even receive salary more than. How are you guys going to cope? <sighs> I don't get it. That guy is broke, retarded, shrinked, shredded. He's gone out of a human being. He's no longer a homo erectus. He's a fucking homo sapien. As a matter of fact, mates like him are being left in the quickery. What the hell? I mean, who are you even thinking in the first place? I am so disappointed. Damn it. Please. Come on. We will manage. Manage what? That is what they keep telling you people all the time. You keep managing. That's how they brainwash you girls. Manage? Why should I manage? Hi. Okay, tell me, when, where would the money come? You know, these men, they are broke. They're not just broke, they are lazy. They're not hardworking. They look for a hardworking woman to clinch on. And then when they get you, they be like, oh, maybe when I get married, she's going to come with luck and then things will start moving. Tell me, you see your luck is going to provide food for you guys? Hmm. Not about her. Mm. I, Natasha, can never still so long to marry a man who does not have money. I mean, why would I do that? You need money to train your kids. Look at you, very soon you start wearing one sided padded bra. Oh, it is true. I have deprived myself a lot. Look at me. I can't even remember when I ate pizza last since I got married. The pizza that I use my money to buy and eat whatever I like. I can't even afford it now. Kai, what kind of life is this now? What's going on? I'm fine. I'm just taking fresh air. Uh, let me judge you now. Come. But this one, your mood is like this. What is the problem? Uh, you need some massage. I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm... Ah. You know what the first guy is in? Okay, um, <clears throat> this is actually for a stupid job well done. I want you to take this. It's for you. But you know, if I were you, I would actually take this advice. I mean, my two cent advice. You can take the money, meet the proper pharmacist, let them check your interior intestines and make sure you're properly well. Because, I mean, you look so dry to me. And secondly, you need to go visit the dentist and let them work on your set of teeth. They are deteriorating. It needs to be fixed, okay? And then make sure you do some shopping for yourself. Do not come again with this washed bag. And I mean, look at your belt. You look so hungry. Then walk on your bed. Make sure you shave and have a clean bed. Do you understand me? Okay, my face. Uh, did you just lick your mouth? Get the hell out of it. It's a stench. Please shut the door behind you. <clears throat> your Majesty. 
The land dispute between the people of Ani and Anioko Kingdom is still unresolved. We have to iron this delicate matter to the last. Because if we treat it half hazardly, it will affect our children, even our great grandchildren. So it is imperative that we deal with this issue once and for all, Your Majesty. I concur. Mm. Your Majesty, he has spoken well. Yes, this important matter has to be resolved now so that we talk about it once and for all, Your Majesty. All right. <clears throat> uh, Your Majesty, you have heard them. Yeah, I heard you all that. We are going to treat the cause. There shall be no crisis in my reign, nor in my children's reign. That's correct, that's good. Go oh, down. I will be calling for another meeting and that will be the last and final over this issue. But that will be on my return from UK because you know that I'm going for treatment. Well, if you say so, Your Majesty. This meeting is adjourned to further notice my orders. Good morning. I must say you look extremely beautiful. Thank you. Ah, uh, sorry, my my manners, please. My, I'm, I'm Colin. Princess Natasha. Oh, you're a princess. Oh, I must say the God must have blessed this day <laughs> coming to meet you. Fine. What can I do for you? Actually, as you can see, I was actually chosen. Oh, I see. I, what is I consider it a crime for a princess like you to walk along the road like that. So I would prefer to take you home myself. Do you go about stopping every woman who's on the road? Like every morning you come out to pick your toys, fats. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm surely sorry. That, that's not what I do. I'm actually heading off to the airport. But I just had to paint that because I've seen something that changed my direction. In other so, words, you're ready to miss your flight just for me. I don't mind. Oh yes, I don't mind. Who does so that? can I take you home please? Um, so where's your car? Oh, actually, like I said, I was actually going to the airport. I don't want to go with my other car, so I just had to choose this one. So if you don't mind, I know it's below what you're supposed to expect. It's not just below, it's like scrap. But I'm I know. Manager. If you're going to mind, you don't mind. Hey, bro. Okay. Anyways, meet my friend Collins. Collins, meet my big headed bro and my wonderful one. Mommy, my friend Collins. <laughs> Collins, don't mind her. Uh, Meanwhile, you you're welcome. Thank you, my Collins. Please don't mind her. Just have a seat. <laughs> thank you. Okay, mom, I, as you can see, I'm just coming up from the gym. I would like to go freshen up. Is the sun okay? Get up. It's okay. 
You can see some people are looking good. Robo, so how are you? I'm fine. Are you so serious of marrying my daughter? Oh yes, my queen. I am so serious. And I am willing to do whatever she wants me to do to make her happy. I promise she will not regret it. So tell me, what do you do for a living? Oh, that. I work with Present World Group of Company and I am the assistant manager. Interesting. Where are you from? I am from Ebenate, Kribatai, based in Lagos. Good. So, for how long have you known my daughter? Well, not quite long, but she is the woman my heart beat for. My queen. My heart yearns for your daughter, the princess. And I am willing to make her my queen. Interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, if you're a human being, can you just Open the door and come in. Have some common sense. You don't want to walk. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. This is it. I have something for you. Really? Yeah. What's that diamond? Shirt? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. This it. Mm, smells nice. How do you know I love the smell? I'm glad you like it. I love it. You have a nice piece of hair. Natasha, this young man likes you and I want you to take him serious. <laughs> well, mother, I am taking him so serious just the way I take my father's business seriously. Can you allow your brother to spare your father's company? Never, mother. That's not possible. I mean, is this why you brought me out here to bribe me with this? I won't. My brother is a blockhead. As a matter of fact, his head is as numb as that of a British wolf. Come off it, mother. I cannot leave my father's business for him. No, I won't. Father handed it over to me and that's how it is. It's a period. You have to stop treating men like nobody. How can you tell me you're subjecting men to some kind of labor all in the name of testing their love for you? Come off it, mother. Come off it. What are you saying? The last time I checked, father told me that he, he, he saw you the first time. I mean, walking under the rain, mother, you were so retarded and shredded. You can't compare me to you. My goodness. No. Mother, for me to stoop so low to get married to any man, he has to go through all those tests, all those examinations. Even if it means him sweeping the whole country in a day, he should do it just to have me as a wife. It's as simple as that. Honestly, you are truly out of your mind. Yes, you are. 
If I had treated your father this way, do you think I would have been married to him? Listen, people are not perfect. You have to fall in and leave him with it. Well, mother, I am not people, I am me. I can never displace myself to please people, never. No, no. So you see, huh? I can even equalize my perfection to that of God. They should work on themselves. That is the problem I have with people that live in this vicinity, I mean this part of Africa. Because you woke up and you saw yourself being surrounded with wealth. And you graduated from Oxford University. My dear, it's not a yes stick for you to measure humans. You have to stop bringing in this your perfection mechanism wherever to this side of the country. Well, no. mother, I am grateful that you said Oxford. That is something that in their whole, even if I have to sell their whole generations together, mother, most of them cannot even afford the school fees. Father did not waste time, did not waste money on me. I am doing so well. It's as simple as this. If a man wants to marry me, he must undergo my processes and my labor and my punishment. If he does not like it, he can as well go to Subway and go marry some local stupid thing. And last time I checked, this conversation is becoming so boring, mother. And it's going inside and do some quantitative reasonings to my main brain. Natasha. Thank you, mother. Please. Where did he get all these jobs from? Who is feeding her with all this nonsense? My son. I've seen your sincere heart towards my daughter, Princess Natasha. And how much you want to make her your wife. But I want you to be ready for the unexpected drama from her. Alright. Thank you. I am ready. Well, Martin. She's so much believing in her own thinking. So I wish you all the best. Thank you, Mother Wayne. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> hey! Uh... One dash shall never end. Huh. So they actually subject this man to be washing cars in this palace. I don't understand. <laughs> now, wow. Hey. I don't know what the princess is trying to do. Hey, we. Can you imagine? She wants a lawyer husband. Lawyer husband, my face. <laughs> but that man is handsome. How can they make that man to be washing on the that, That's the, the problem with you. Right now, you are, you are even crushing. I'm not hey? crushing. <laughs> I cannot marry Umar Rapa now. See this one. I'll be buying something. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. It's okay. Hamba. Hey. Oh, sorry, yeah. I don't know what this word is turning. Go and ask him if he wants to. Oh, Uh, but I'm almost done. You can see. Okay, um, you forgot this one. Mm. At least, pack it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will be inside with my mother. So, in case if you're done, do let me know. Are you? I'm almost there. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Right. I, that reminds me, I have some on this inside the Dubai place. Concentrate on the down part. The down part. Thank you. Thank you. So you mean Collins, the guy you told me about, is doing everything, just doing your heart? Of course. He's doing everything possible, even if it means washing my father's boxes and my mother's on these. He will wash them. Like anything you ask him to do? Of course. Ah, oh, please. I am sure he's going to get tired along the line. Very soon. Uh-uh, princess. Why now? Why now? This is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Excuse me. What is wrong? Now you tell me. Him not going to marry at least a secretary or a sales girl and coming to marry a princess? Is that one not wrong? Well, he has to pass through all my tests. Like I said, even if it means washing my father's boxes, he will wash it. Ah, 
I just, I, well, I feel for him. I just wish he proves you absolutely wrong. Oh, well, he cannot. I'm so sorry. No man has ever passed my test. Yes. Babe, this is unbelievable. You can say whatever you, you want to say. My love, why are you doing this now? Why now? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Look, I'm almost due. I've not even bought my baby things. Eh? What kind of life is this? My love, but I told you to be patient with me. Once I collect my salary, I'll give it to you. Eh? That's what you keep saying. For the past two months, that's what you keep saying. I should be patient for how long? Look at me. I can't even afford to buy my cream. I can't afford to buy my soap. Nothing. I have told the time to that number to leave this government work and look for another work. But you refuse. Is government work paying? Eh? For how long? My love, please. Calm down. Take it easy on me, please. Do you know what? Just give me for not a weekend. I will do something. Hmm? I should give you for now to weekend. I, I, I will try and do something. How long have you been telling me that? Every day from now to weekend. From now to weekend. Eh? I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of this life. Oh, seriously, I don't understand what is going on. Go back to go back to for how long? Oh, please. Hi. Hi. I'm in trouble, oh. I'm in serious trouble. Hmm? <sighs> Mother, this is so wrong and absolutely unacceptable. My dear, your sister wants to frustrate all her suitors. But you see this very one. I've encouraged him to be very stubborn and do whatever she asks him to do. Huh. Natasha, I wonder who's been feeding her with such weird ideas. The other day she subjected my friend, Prince Ugona, to clearing a piece of land just to prove his love for her. Who does that? Honestly speaking, I promise you, she will surely come down from her high horse. But my prayer is, let it not be too late for her. I hope so. Because I will not talk about this issue again. It's okay. Hello, darling. But you know you cannot stay abroad for too long. You should let them know you are the king. No, darling, you cannot. I know your health matters. But well, you should know I am worried too. That a year is too long for you to stay in UK. Okay, you know what? Please. I will communicate to them. Yes, I will tell them. But please, do come back immediately after the check. All right. We miss you too. Okay. Bye. So you mean uh, His Majesty will be in London for a year? Yeah, exactly what he told me on the phone, but it can change. This is serious. So serious we can't wait for so long. Why, if I may ask? Because we have land disputes to resolve. Is it that you are deaf or you do not hear alternatively in English language? I need to understand it. 
My father's health is more important than some settling of some land dispute or whatever you call it. We're not saying it's not. We are trying to talk about matters that are pending. I won't allow the princess to wag her mouth on us. We've heard from the queen. Be okay. You know, I'm not called you. You know, Miss Black or Joe, look at you. No, 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 no. Shut up. Mother, please. Go check yourself. Just because I fired your son, you think you can come here and show me some expired red cap beside me? Look at you. When Lazarus changed those jewels on your neck, the stink. Cut the hell out of this palace, please. Natasha. Do not if you rate me more. Natasha. Please, I do not care if his heart is about to pull out from his chest because I fired your son. I will fire your whole line into if, you, if I have the opportunity to do so. Why not? Yeah. Damn it. Silence is the first. And now. Eje gani epopu. Eje gani epopu. Eje gani epopu. It should be the best. Now look at his rumpled clothes. As far as it was ash. Natasha. What? What is it? Please stop. Please. Stop what? You know what? I think we're done with this gadget. Can you guys stop moping at me like some African magic and just get the hell out of this palace? Get out! You don't need to remind us about the health of the king. We already know. And please mind the way you talk to the others. Are you done talking? Ha! Thank God. I have been waiting for you to talk. I've been waiting for you to open your gutter mouth. Your two colored gutter mouth to talk. Look at you. The reckless. Oh no. Oh no, we never want to wait. They need to bring a huge stone, a brick, one full block, and put it in your pocket so that the wind will not take you away from the surface of this earth. Look at you and your inspired red cap. Who tell me I don't know who that wears a shoe without the stockings? And I will show you a featherless man who has no membranes in his head. Ah. Do you even know what is a stocking? No, tell me. When was the last time you had time to go carve your bed and look like a proper Olugun? When was the last time you had the proper toothbrush? My to princess, brush it? When was the proper time you ate a good food with vitamin Q and vitamin C? When was the proper time? Tell me the time you ate a good food and received an air condition to your health. Oh, get out! I will not be here and allow this princess to run. The elders you are even calling are better than you. Look at the way they look well fed than you, do you know? Guards! Ladies, they should bring block. I come and put in this court. Let me call you Natasha. Ah, oh no, what for? The wind is about to take your no. Why? Yeah, you are calling me Natasha. Go and fix your own. Oh, no, go and fix your own. May the gods have mercy on you. Mother, the gods should have mercy on you. Oh no, they should eat good food. Oh no, what nonsense? Oh, what come over you, Natasha. Come on, come over who? Do you realize that these are the elders of this kingdom? And, and as for you, look at you. I thought you were even learned enough. Here you are wearing some white transparent coat with no cigarette inside. Tell me, you can go find some solid tape and close that fucking nipples. I don't want to be seeing them in this palace. Shut! Natasha. What? Don't mistake my calmness for weakness. Really? I warn you. Really? Do not mistake my hotness for a burning furnace. I will. <laughs> what? Do you know I have never seen the Bagmatic Princess like Princess Natasha? Her bad mouth is as dangerous as a viper venom. Jesus! <laughs> My sister, she has every word that suits every word. Imagine insulting the Ono and Mazio Keke and that witless manner. Jesus! Ha! Calling the Ono witless or no. As a matter of fact, she has no respect for anyone. <laughs> but one thing I keep asking myself, it's why she hates men so much. But her twin brother, the prince, is a different person. Very cold-headed. Mm. Hmm. Please, I don't want anything to do with that. So, my princess, what are we doing here? Well, I actually brought you here because I want you to want this for me. Uh, princess, I think you're joking because it's supposed to be a mortuary. Yes, understand? it's a mortuary. You know, I was thinking to myself, since Collins loves me and wanted to get married to me, why don't I go ahead and manage the business and the royal, you know, when it comes to royalty and all that, while you handle the mortuary business. Being a mortuary attendant is not a problem. I've always wanted to have something like this. <laughs> you know, this actually sounds very funny because I can't imagine myself working in a mortuary. You were expecting me to leave my beautiful job and come down here to work in a mortuary. Why That's would you fun, work right? in a mortuary? Come off it, babe. It's lucrative. You make a whole lot of money from this. 
Forget the fact that they call it mortuary, no. All you need to be doing is seeing dead people and dead cops, you know, one of their breasts and one of their heart, their nipple falling up and them coming up. That's your state. It is very obvious that you don't want me around you, princess. I have done everything possible to please you, princess. I watched your car, watched your owners, watched everything about you, yet you bring me down to this place to walk in a mortuary. I cannot stop so low to walk in this place. Princess, I cannot. Really? Well, I think it's high time you go back to your village and get married to a female monkey or something. I'm, I'm definitely not going to marry someone like you. I mean, you don't want to do business, then fine. Go to hell. Be my guest. Princess, you can go to hell with your love. I no, think I, I don't, don't think I need to go to hell. Look at him. You managed to borrow some Balenciaga fake eyeglasses like some Apollo patient and you come with your black and white clothes like a mini police from, 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 from Indonesia. You want to get married to me. You want to get married to your monkey in the village. Asshole. Look at him. Bastard. Immigrant. Black immigrant. What? Yes. I could not believe it. My queen, I could not believe she could say something like that. This is unbelievable. She actually wants you to become a mortician? Exactly, my queen. She said she wants to run a mortuary business, which I doubt. Really? Yes. I don't know why she's behaving this way. I don't know. This is what we call madness in the highest order. Yes, my queen. I could not believe it. I could not believe she could say something like that. My dear daughter, please. I want you to know that marriage is not always rosy. Sometimes we don't get what we want in marriage. Marriage can throw you off balance and make you feel so bad that you might even start regretting, why did I even get into this? Sometimes it will make you feel like you're caged. That you'll be asking yourself, was I charmed? And some other time, it will make you feel so excited that you wish it lasts forever. Whatever side of it you experience, my daughter, I want you to be patient. Okay? Be patient with your husband. I know that things are somehow difficult at the moment. But I also know that things will turn around for good for your husband. So my daughter, be patient. Okay? Mm -hmm. And as for me, I want you to always know that I'll be here for you. Do you understand me? You can always count on me for anything. I will support you with the little I can. Oh, mom. Mama. You are always here for me. You're a wonderful mother. You are always supporting me. You are always there for me. Aww. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mama, you are one in a million. Aww. Thank you so much for being there for me. You're a godsend to my life. And I really, really appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Oh, thank you. Oh, I promise I will never disappoint you. Oh, I can see butterflies in my <laughs> tummy. <laughs> you see, my dear, you're my only child. You are all I have. My only hope. My backbone. If I don't support you, who will? If I don't care for you, who else would I care for? Please, I don't want you to think about anything. Don't worry yourself about anything. You see, all those that laughed at you, eh? All those that laughed and still laughing, eh? They will come back and celebrate with you. All those that mocked you, eh? Watch them. Watch out. Go 
want to surprise you. You hear me? That's my baby. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. Very soon everything will be fine. Oh, I'm man. Oh. Well, my brother. What the princess did to her sons is like a scar in the palms. Who will you know that? Me? My brother. Mm. In fact, I don't know what to say. Princess Natasha is now all and all in that royal house. Mm -hmm. Both the prince and the queen are all handicapped. Yes. Can you imagine? My brother. Mm. I wish our children makes it in life. So as to put a shame to that idiot. He uh, said, uh, uh, that reminds me. Hmm. How about your son, Emelika? Oh, I gave him some money to go to the city so that he can walk out there. Yeah, and right. I believe he will make it. Uh, why not? He will. Uh, hmm. My brother. But I'm worried. Worried? Worried about what? Our brother now, the king. Uh. How can he leave the palace to go to a white man's land to stay for one full year? Uh -uh. He went for medical treatment. I mean, forgotten he's diabetic. And he's suffering high blood pressure too. Hmm, I think I do believe. But well, if you say so, what's wrong with that? Yeah, all you have to do is uh, pray for his quick recovery. Mm. Yes. What is the meaning of this nonsense? What is the meaning of this rubbish? Most of attitude you just as a bitch right now. Are you a tout? Princess Natasha, why did you make me do all the things I did for you? Why? And I see. That's why you brought the shirt and Rika Tenka in front of me, right? Because you managed to close your plate number, you don't think you've arrived. Right? So you came to ask me what I did, why you did what you did for me, or why I did what I did to you, right? Very good. Let me make you understand it. You washed my panties, you washed my undies for me because you wanted to have me. It's as simple as that. Even if you are taking the mortuary when I ask you to do it, trust me, I would have brought another task which you will never do and which you will never have me. Well, Princess, you made mention of you making me wash your undies and your clothes. Well, I accept that. That is because I was thinking that a princess of a kingdom was supposed to be a neat princess, but I never knew you were such a bleached skin dirty, foul, idiot that cannot simply wash out on this very well. But then I know that you're simply nothing but a fool. Well, you washed Listen. it well. Yeah, I did. Because of course you had to wash it well. I washed it well. Of and course. that's because I needed to do it to show you that there are still real men who train themselves. No, I said, no, no, like... fact, you were a fool. How could you be washing off other men's cements from my panties? Hello? You're a dummy. Now, princess, let me make you understand something. You have messed with the wrong guy. You know what? Take this monkey cap shit out of my sight as well. The next time you think about overtaking a cross store, make sure you come with at least a cross. The tour can be managed and be kept at home. Come the hell out. Princess, the next time we will meet, you will be as dark as I am. Fuck you, princess. brought you here so I could show you the land where I want to use for the project so I want to also use this medium so let you know that I want you to be the supervisor of the project. I don't understand. You want me to be the supervisor? I didn't come all the way from Mr. Man, I didn't ask you to become a laborer. I didn't ask you to join the laborers which is a normal thing no, other guys should no, have done for no. me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry, it wasn't me. I was just in a very bad mood that day. And trust me, we can do this business. Can we just forget about the past and focus on the future? Yes. If only Princess begs. I just say you are in the right office at the right time. Please, Chief Obina, sit. I beg you. You don't mean it, Princess. Of course I do. I saw the files myself. I saw the documents. I am still confused. You know, this guy just wants a company that can be able to manage his money. We're talking about 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot of money. What? That guy? Yes. He said he came by address. I'm still confused. I just don't get it. So what do you do now? Well, I don't know. He is not happy with our first account. Well, you just let him go like that. Of course I won't. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for my company. Imagine my father's company handling Filling stations, estates. I would not let that slip through my hands. No, it's not possible. I need this money. 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot. As a matter of fact, I need the money and I also need the guy. We really need it. Well, let's just pray he calls back. We need to pray fervently. Yeah. Let's just pray he calls back. Oh, yeah. Okay. You are awake. Ah, ah. Obim, good morning. Yeah, good morning. How was your night? Fine. Obim, you're dressed to go out. Where are you going to? I, I got an urgent call at the legal government. So I have to be there now. An urgent call? Yeah. I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I dropped 2,000 naira for you. When I'm coming back from the local government, I'll branch at the market and get some of that things, eh? Okay. You're becoming romantic this day. Are you so. saying I have not been romantic or what? Sure. Uh, Kim. Sure. <laughs> Obvious. It's like they've paid you. No, no, nah, they have not paid me. I took up a Samora classes in my school. You know, and I told you about those my students now. Mm. They are doing well. The little money they are paying me, that is what I'm managing for now. Eh? Thank but, you. But you know what? Don't worry. Very soon. 
everything will be all right. I know. Hmm? I know. Thank you for my cream and soap you oh, bought for me. Thank stop you now. So much. Is it because there is no money? If I have money, I will do more now. I know good things now. Thank you so much. Hey, Obi, let me warm the food so that I can eat something before going out. No, 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 no. I'm already late for the appointment. When I'm back, I will eat. You know? Even if it's late, so. Can you worry too much? Stop stressing yourself. Relax. When I'm back, I'll eat. Eh? Are you sure? Don't overwork yourself. Oh. You know, go. Oh. Take care. Thank Don't you. Don't overwork yourself. You are really a very funny man. Prince Desmond, come on, I have to say my mind. <laughs> of course, of course. Thank you, good mother. Thank you. So, like you said, you want our support. Yes, my prince, especially with the with the youths. Oh, you know. Hi, hi, mother. Oh, sorry, I can't. You again? Ah, uh, sorry, forgive me. She's my sister, my twin sister, actually. Yes. Really? Hi, nice meeting you again. Ah, same here. You both know each other? Um, yes, recently, but nothing, nothing more. How are you, princess? I am fine, and you? That's nice. Mother, I actually came to tell you something, but since you're in a meeting, I'll have to go and come back later. Huh? What am I going to do now? Is it going to tell them about me? Stop being desperate, Princess Natasha. You need to calm down. What am I going to do? The young man came to the palace, solicited for our support. They said he wants to become the governor of the state. Oh. oh my goodness. Do you know him before now? Ah, uh, yes, mother. I I mean this young man invited me to my office with some business proposal. And And he said he wanted some companies. I mean a good company that good. I mean that can manage his vast properties. Have you not been doing that? You are the general manager. You're a demigod. So why are you telling us about this? You know, I'm just going to pretend that you were not even existing or talking in the first place. Natasha, huh. you are the general manager of this company. Why are you acting so tersed? Excuse me? Excuse me? Have you lost your mind? Better watch your mouth. Mother, as I was saying before those headless cockroaches dis distracted me. Mother, this man we're talking about is dwelling in billions of naira. He has a whole lot of money. All we need to do is get the millions from him. Really? Yes. He's just looking for where to invest it and that's it. Natasha, you sacked our cousins. You've never asked for mine or father's opinion, so. What's all this? Mother. Your boss, and you know what to do about it. So take care of it. Who is talking to this Nick of Look at him always wearing some red, like some shoeish artist. Mother, as I was saying, this guy has a whole lot of money. Trust me, all we need to do is to, you know, just be close to him, be able to get the billions of naira that he has for his um, investment. Natasha, what, please don't link me to this. You don't have zero knowledge in administration and management. Really? I'm out of here. Fine, why is everybody so angry this afternoon? I mean, did you guys eat a whole lot of garlic and ginger? Damn it. Please, don't put your frustrations on me. You mean he's a politician? Like he wants to become the governor of this state? Yes, he is. Now, how do we do it? I mean, how are we going to get him on our side? 
I need those signed documents on my table, you know it. I need that contract. No, let's do. Okay, okay. See, we have to play the game of politics here. How do you mean? He wants our people's vote, right? Good. Now, as the princess, you have to meet the youth leader. If he doesn't give you the contract, we don't vote for him. I don't really know if I'm making sense. You know, I just want to think out loud. I understand what you're saying. You are actually making sense, but as a politician, I'm sure you know they're used to buying voter's mind. What if he buys the voter's mind? What do we do? I don't know. So it's, we, we have to start here. Okay, this is just the idea that crept up in my mind. Just manage it like that. God. <clears throat> uh, my princess. The total number of uh, youth um, in this community are just uh, 1,120. Wow. That's nice. Very good. Um, but we have 500 presently, both in and out. So where is this 620? Abroad. Abroad? Yes, my princess. How do we get um, true to the point that we have in the community, the people that are around, and we get true to them? My princess, they only listen to the youth leader who is married now. And who is the youth leader? Izuna, my princess. Izuna? Yes, my oh, princess. No. Um, my princess, is there any problem? No, not at all. I'm just wondering why he should be the youth leader. Um, actually, we've not done the election, though. We still have two months elapsed. That's the same time he's supposed to run for governorship, right? Yes, my princess. I see. Um, what about his vice? Does he have a vice? Yes, my princess. Can we get true to him? I mean, who, who is the vice? Um, <clears throat> Emenike, your cousin. Goodness, God. Can you gather them together? I wish I can, my princess, but <clears throat> I can't, my princess. I'm just only the financial secretary, and they won't listen to me. So I don't want to break the protocol. Goodness, God. <sighs> my princess, another thing. Not at all. Never. I will never do that. First you insulted me and now you need my help. Today you will know the power of a man in this palace. Can you just shut your mouth, you toothless bulldog? Shut the hell up, please. When the stench on you irritates me. Are you kidding me? This is not about me. This is about the company and you know that. Very well. Go ahead and keep doing it and please don't get me involved. You won the heart of father. You made him understand that you are the only one who can run the affairs of that company. And now you want him to think otherwise? Hell no. You are smart. You are brilliant, just like father said. Please, go ahead and do it. So don't get me involved. You don't need a man in this. Uh, mother, please, do you mind talking to your boy? Make him understand that this is about the interest of the family. It is not about me at this point in time. Mother, please don't call my Why name. Why would she call you? Don't call my name. Mom, she has to call back the secretary and then Eminiki. She, 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 she sacked them from the company because of her selfish needs. Yes, she did that. Now you want me to call the youths of this kingdom and tell them what? Not to vote for Obina until he appends his signature on her proposal. Never. I'm not going to do that. Of course, you know the youth will never listen to you. They will not answer your call because they hate your fucking God. How dare you? Stop it! Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Look at this anti clockwise idiot. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. I am your other sister. I came into this world before you. Damn it! Who the hell do you think you are? Natasha, you slap me. And I'll slap you again. Natasha! You sickening. Potatoes will potate. Nonsense. Fine. You can go ahead and pull down this palace. I will not summon the youth of this village. I will not, mother. I will not. Please, go treat your slap, nigga. Go fix your shin. You need to calm down. You see what we've been telling you? What goes around comes around. Mother, Mind how you treat people, you refuse. Mother, please, what are you talking about? Which people are you talking about? You're talking about the people you have in this community? They are mad. 
We are talking about father's company. We need to fix it. Why is nobody in the house? You father's should understanding? mind how you treat people. But you refused. Mother, trust me, I think everybody in this palace needs to visit some rehabilitation. Seriously. So, you now know the road that leads to my house. You have decided to come down from your high horse. You ask me to mobilize the youth. As what? Do I look like your personal ex? After all you did to my daughter. Your own cousin. My man. Uncle. I am not your uncle. I am the Ono. Ono. Present. Please. Can you at least come to the palace and talk to my twin brother? Impossible. I always you can. The Ono of Fanny and the Anuko Kingdom. We dare not leave my house and go to that palace until my own brother, your father, his majesty returns. I will not do that. Why are you so stubborn? You want to understand it. What is so special about you? Who gives someone with an expired red cap and owner with title? Who does that? Continue. Why are you behaving like some headless cockroach in the first place? Because I stood so long to come to this place, to come exchange words with you? Look at you. I managed to come here to change your life and here you are, sounding like some almost dead leprosy patient. Please. The whole place thinks already I'm out of here. You think you are smarter than everyone. Why not you go and mobilize you by yourself in a, in a room in English? Hey! <laughs> hey, Lamba! You don't mean it. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> You needed to see the way your father trashed her out of this house. Mm. But, he, but you know, I, that girl is so is so shameless. Uh -huh. Do you know that instead of her to even plead, she was busy running that her dirty stinking mouth before your father. <laughs> Mama, hmm. hey, I trust Papa. Mm -hmm. I know what he can do. He gave it to her. Hey, oh, God. Hot. Oh, Mama, wait, wait, wait. Why is she looking for the youth? Like, why is she looking for the youth of the community? It, 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 What's her motive? Ajum can join you. I don't know for her. Because she never made her intentions known to either your father or anyone. So, come on, Basaraya. Ha! Stupid ha, girl. Mama. Mama, now that my husband is still the youth president of this community. Uh -huh. Mama, I'm waiting for her. Hey! I'm waiting for her. When she walk in without her two left leg, Mama. Just at the entrance. <laughs> Trust me. Mama, uh -huh. I will just go and look for I will garnish all the Cameroon paper that is inside the Again, I will mix it with shit. Both, uh -huh. both concussion. Uh -huh. Mama, I will pour it to her face. Uh -huh. Mama, you know, don't, don't trust me. Don't look what I can do. Seriously. I know what you are capable of doing. I'm in a chair, chair. I'm waiting for her. But Biko, because of your condition, eh? I don't want her to harm you, nor my unborn grandchild. Biko. Yeah? Mama, calm down. I'm waiting. You don't understand. Hey. That, 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 that lady deserves to be treated the way she treats other people. This is like a film to me. So wicked. This is like a film to me. I would have said deal with her, but because of your condition. <laughs> This is it. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see why I keep telling you that? Always be nice to people. Because you don't know who will help you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Princess Natasha insulted my in law at the palace. Mm -hmm. She even insulted you. She insulted me also. Princess uh, Natasha. Insulted the whole village. Bag of insults. Huh? I pray she comes to me. Hey. Let me use my mouth to drag in her life for her. <laughs> I will so drag in her life for her. <laughs> oh. Okay, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I come, yeah, I come. Not okay. just you, everyone is waiting for her to come. Me, yeah, I'm even waiting for her. If I see her, this is my night. I'll cut her leg into two. Hmm? <laughs> Just because you accepted to marry me, imagine? she fired you from your place of work. Ah! Okay. <laughs> My dear, forget about that princess. She's not important. Hmm? Hey, how far? How far the place you went to? Any outcome? 
Something good is coming. Hmm? Just calm down. Something good. good news is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I, I hate suspense. You know? I hate suspense. Just tell me what's, what's happening. I want to know. Put the bed first. Hmm? Uh, I'm down. I'm not coming down anything. In fact, down. This thing you told me about Princess Natasha is making me to laugh. <laughs> I cannot wait to see her here. <laughs> let me, let, I will finish that girl. <laughs> <laughs> we are all waiting for her. Princess of our time. No, Princess Natasha. Mm -hmm. Natasha. How far have we gone? Are we making any progress? Yes, we are. What? You have to be pragmatic, Natasha. I know you can never ever admit it when it's not going your way. Tell me, what is the latest? I mean, have the youths concurred to what you said? They will. How sure are you? Because I have everything all sorted out. When the time is right, they will accept or better still forget about it. It's that simple. <sighs> okay, um, what about your twin brother? What is my twin brother doing in this, I mean, in this discussion? He is supposed to be in the picture, not No, Asha. he's not supposed to be in the picture. As a matter of fact, I think you should change the topic. Are you serious? Educate. Hmm? She asked you to come and see me. So the princess actually sent you to come and meet me. What? As what? Isunda. Are you not the duty leader again? I mean, she wants to help. Educate. I am highly disappointed at you. I should gather the youths. Mm -hmm. Go and tell the princess that no one is gathering any youths. I, Isunda, will not gather any youths. And also tell her that I still remain the youth leader of Anyoku and Ani clan. She knows. <laughs> oh, the princess sent you to me. Yes, ma'am. For what, if I may ask? Um, <clears throat> I, you know, uh, as one of the noblemen in this kingdom, as an opinion leader as well, she believes that with your power, you can mobilize the youth so she can address them. Mm. Yes, Nai. I understand that my son and you are friends. <laughs> Very good, Van and I. We are friends. Ah. Yes, Nai. <laughs> I also understand you know that my son and the princess are cousins. <laughs> I'm aware of that in nine. Ah. 100% aware. Ah. <clears throat> yes, in nine. That means you know how the princess fired my son from her father's company without tangible reason. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm only a, a messenger. Only a messenger. Only she can go. Messenger to the princess. Uh, not to the princess. I just came to deliver a message here. Oh, please forget my manners, okay? Sorry, let me get you to call him. <laughs> you sit down and discuss. No, okay, okay. I don't know. I'm going to leave. 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 I'm going
Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Mother, I will not work with Natasha. I will not do what she says. Do you realize I am a prince? The crowned heir to the throne of this kingdom. My dear, she needs you in that company. You cannot just abandon your father's company just because you have a rigid sister. Hell no, mother. If you do not get the point. I'm very sure Natasha can take care of that company, the affairs of that company, with or without me. I am done. You need to meet with that young man. I think he is the bone of contention here. If you agree to give such contracts to the company, it means the family will benefit from it. So at the end, all praise will be given to Natasha, as usual. By the way, why is she running around the kingdom trying to put together the youth of Annie and Annie of the kingdom? Why? I have my reasons, mother, and it is personal to me. You are too stubborn. Why don't you tell your mother? You have to think, mother. Think? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me to think. I am not your staff. I am your mother. Fine. Since you insist. Chief Obina is running for governorship in the state, right? You still have the poster, huh? Good. By the time we tell the youth of our community who to vote for and who not to vote for, trust me, Chief Opina will have no other option than to dance to our tune. I don't understand. Mother, what is there for you not to understand? It's as simple as this. He would have no other option than to accept my proposal. Just a girl. I know quite some numbers of youths of this kingdom. And I have also met with some noble men too. And I understand that I will get some reasonable amount of votes from youth. That is if the royal family calls and address them. But I don't understand the clouds here. Are we in some kind of give and take? Chief Obina, we are talking about business here. Obina. I am aware that our father's company gave you a proposal. Yes, to manage my properties. Then, we'll talk to you some other time in regards to your demands. That's okay by me. Listen to me, you do not come in here and ruin things for me. I will not take that from you. What is your problem? This man is a very busy man. He's worth millions. Okay, fine. Why don't you go ahead and tell him about corporate agreement? We never had a corporate agreement. It was you who moved on your own plant. Not with me, not with mother, maybe with father. Besides, why would Obina just wake up one morning? Chief Obina, whatever he calls himself, wake up one morning and decide to become the governor of a state without proper background check to know his words. Yes. Why is he even pumping on the company? Look at you. Look at you talking like some child parent photosynthesis. You know someone who sit here and think you're talking from a man who suffered his mother's spread for, for how long? You're talking like a fool! What is your problem? I really don't think this man came by your address, mother! Well, let's the investigations prove that. I'm, 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 I'm not moved by his political plans. I'm really bothered about all of this company. Well, you know what? I'm done with this. Rubbish. Mother. I don't care about whatever he has. He came to our company for a business, and now what? Trust me, Mom. I have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. He wants votes. I totally disagree with you, Mother. They could act like every other politician. Buy votes. Not this. I don't trust that guy. Mother, this is a conflict. A 
Keep him in the push that this man is a very busy man. He's worth billions of naira, and this is how he made his first million. I mean, he's, everything is clear here. He's showing. And you say to me, the next time you will ever push with this hand, I'm going to forget that you're my younger brother or my two brother, and I'll put you behind bars. You midget. Never, Natasha. I will not be alive and want to go for this business like you're running your inheritance. What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? I've been asking you, what the hell is your problem? Why don't you want me to run my father's company? What is your problem? No, there is no difference between you and that peacock behind you. How dare you? Ask yourself what you, you think you are. I just said what I said. I said you have no right to do that. To do what? To do that. To do that. To do that. It's very obvious because you expect me to be wearing some royalty with some horse hair on my head like a puppy to jot. Is that what you expect me to do? Never tell you! I will be wearing that puppy with you! Why the hell do you think I'm jealous of you? Why do you think I'm jealous of you? Why the hell am I jealous of you? Why? Tell you. me! Because you're white! Right. You know what? Let me tell you something you don't know. All the guys out there have, I mean, they have kids. They have marriage. They are married. They are married with kids in the house. But look at you. All you want to do is talk about my father's throne. You will never be a prince or a king. You just end up here till I die. Look at you looking like a media God! Yes, hello? Hello, Princess Natasha. How are you? Oh, this is uh, Chief Obina. Yes. Yes, yes. Actually, I, I want to ask you for a date. If you don't mind. I will send you the address, okay? See you. Princess Natasha, I have been looking at you for quite some time now. And I need nobody to tell me that you're the right woman to handle my vast empire. Yes, I have a lot of money to take care of forever. I don't understand. I thought this was supposed to be a business meeting. Well, I am a man full of surprises and a very busy man at that. I want you to marry me, my princess. <laughs> Do you realize I am a princess? I mean, you cannot marry me just like that. We have protocols, we have rules. Well, I know about the protocols, of course, I'm a chief. But you know, sometimes when you have a lot of money, protocols doesn't matter. Hey. Fine. So, what do you want me to actually do? I want you to propose to me. What? Do you want me to do what? I want you to go on your knees and propose to me. Then I'll call you. Like I said, I have so much money to take care of for the rest of my life. And I might not have the time to have this conversation again. Strange. This is strange. Well, 
not a little strange when you have a lot of money. Well, I don't want you to see it as if I'm trying to put you down, my princess. But I want you to understand that I'm a title holder and it is normal for a woman to be posted a wealthy man like me. You need to settle down, girl. Come on, just play along. That is the game. What do you mean by play along? Are you listening to yourself talk? Girl, I am telling you that I felt like the ground should open so I can sink inside. I felt like I was... I felt like I was stripped naked in front of him. It was so sudden. It was like an impromptu meeting. It wasn't supposed to be like that. I wasn't expecting it. All I have to say, you, you you have to open your heart and give him a chance. Girl, you're getting married to a billionaire, so you have to be submissive. He is a politician, girl. A politician. Do you mind keeping quiet for some time? I would really appreciate it, you know, since you don't have anything meaningful to say. Whatever. <sighs> there is no time. There is no time. Come on! Look, you cannot suggest this one. Not this one. He is not like the others. So you have to be submissive. Do you know that millions of girls would die this opportunity that you're here nagging about? Whatever. Come on! You call it millions of girls. I think you made a mistake. As a matter of fact, there should be millions of fishes, not me. No. Just stay focused and get the money and the contract. Just let me be. Okay. Is it possible? I'm sorry. I don't dive you. Yeah. Hey, Mom. You're welcome. How was your day? Probably bad. You had a fight with someone? Not at all. Let's just say it goes in the wrong way. Mm. Chief Hovina, and you accepted just like that? Well, mother, let's just see that we have a chance. Just like that? Mother, your son cost us. He told the youth not to accept any call from the way of them, right? Maybe he had told them to accept it at all. Maybe then I would have had a choice, but now. I had no other choice. Marriage on contract? Mother, I had no choice. Thanks. Are you okay? What's this? What is it now? Are you okay? Obin, mm -hmm. what is it? Open it and read it. Um, you're scaring me. What is it? Why are you giving me this? Just read it. Why are you scared? Open it. I hope all is well. Oh. Hey, baby! It's an appointment later. To me. Oh, baby, thank you. Got me a job. I told you. I. Are you okay? I'm fine. You got, you got me a job. I told you. He said, as soon as you put to bed, that you can take your time and take care of your baby. Then you can resume whenever you like. 
I told you I was going to give you a good job. Oh, I told you. Oh, Bim. Oh, you told me. I told you I was going to get you a good job. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know what to say. Do you mean I will become a secretary? Not to anyone, but to the local government chairman. The chairman of our local government. Ah, no, no, secretary thank you, General. Thank you, thank you so much. I told thank you. you. In fact, just put to bed. Just put thank to bed. Like you. Just... Are you okay? Huh? Are you sure you're all right? <laughs> you sure? Baby, just keep. I'm fine. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is a big one. Oh, it's a good news. Secretary me. General. Secretary, Secretary General. General. Secretary General. Secretary General. Ah! Secretary General. Ah! Secretary General. What is it? Baby. Baby's huh? coming. Baby's coming. Baby. Hey. Oh! Baby, I want to shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me get a dance. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait, just wait. Last, 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 last. Ah! Baby, she wants to shoot. I just shoot you. Come here, you he was just not here for votes. He already had plans to slide into this family. Are you not happy for your twin sister? Oh yes, I'm happy for her mother. She can go ahead and enjoy her life. Please excuse me, mother. Please go and make some food for me to eat. I'm hungry. I beg your pardon. Excuse me? <laughs> it's the gods for me. Hello? I should go into the kitchen and make food for you as well as your slave. What happened to your maids? That's my wife. My cook is on leave. That's why I invited you over here. So you invited me over here for you to reduce me. I mean to stoop my personality so low to the point that I have to go into the kitchen. Inhale so many gas and all the hotness just to make food for you. Have you lost it? Listen to me, I am a princess and where I come from, I have maidens at my back and call. You cannot reduce me to that point. I am not your sister. Neither am I from your lineage. And you have to remember that you are a woman and you ought to be in the kitchen. I am just going to go into that kitchen to make food for you. Because it is obvious that I mean hunger is beginning to eat the lines of your eyes. Princess but please, next time you send me to go and make food for you, princess that food is going to choke you. Princess Natasha, you have to be calming down. <coughs> oh, gum. Uh, oh, gum. I love. If I hear them, I love. Hey, I don't mind. Love, one, ten, ten. Yeah. You push should allow me to go for this one I came. Before I'll do two among in one visit. Uh, no, no, mama, it's not like mama, it's not like that, nah. Not like that, uh, uh, Are you sure it's not like that? Ah, uh, uh, mama. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. Um, Nebiko, I am done beating your baby. Come, let me massage your body now. Okay. The hot water is ready for you. So that I may make this love on our daughter. <laughs> okay, mama. Thank you, mama. <laughs> mama, you know what? Don't worry, I'll be going, I will join you, eh? No, 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 no. Better follow Mama now. Let Mama go and give you that hot water massage. Mm -hmm. So you always have that flat tummy, huh? Mm -hmm. you, you, you know that. 
That you look always with attractive for me. Eh? My love. Go now before my mother leaves, please. Eh? My love, by the time I'm done with her, eh? you see, everything will go back to the original position. I, I trust you, my hmm? love. I trust okay. you. If you need a bit tight and strong, go, 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 I want your tummy to be flat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go now. Go. Yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Follow my mama. Mama, mama. do it well. Come on, go to the room. Come on, go to the room. Hold on. Let me go and do it well for you. Mama, do it well. Do it well. Yes. Love, love flat tummy. She know you ignore it the I mean, you're so good. You are extremely good in bed. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Um, I'm really sorry about the way I treated you the first time. You said sorry like ten times already. You know what I'm Yes, I know, but you know, I just can't help but keep feeling bad. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Okay, so what was it like? What was what like? Come on, girl. Give a girl something to hold on to. I mean, what are friends for? Why are you too like that? Why are you so inquisitive? You are always curious to know what happened to someone. I or don't to understand. Wait. I bet give me something. How was it? Fine. Uh, how was it? Fine. No. Just fine. Yes, he was so good in bed. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You, you, mean, you mean you had political sex? No. I have a scientific sense. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. How do you know you're in the of the No, I had a scientific bang in my life. You're crazy. Just change the topic right now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> yes. Hello, handsome. How are you? <sighs> okay, a quick one. I don't actually know where you are right now, but. If you are home, can I come over? Okay. I'll be there soon or later. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Greetings, mother. Greetings to you. Your father called. Oh, really? Yes. So how is he? Oh, he's doing fine. He said he'll be coming back next month. That's good. So, are mother. you okay? Mother, I do not trust that man. Which man are you talking about? Chief Obina Wafo. What about him? There's something strange about that man. You know, he came soliciting for votes in our kingdom. And not long ago, he proposed to Natasha. And unlike Natasha, she accepted. I'm very sure for her own selfish interest. Now, Natasha has been all over that man. Yet, she has not come home to tell us if he accepted the proposal or not. I think she's beginning to throw leak without her senses. Do not speak such about your twin sister. 
and please allow her to live her life. When she was busy deserting suitors, we're all complaining. Now she has accepted one. We no longer see her. Yes. She spends more time in that man's house. Always around him. Our mother, I believe you and I know the consequences of our actions. If Natasha gets pregnant outside wedlock, the throne is going to leave our family forever. Oh, stop it. She already knows the consequences. Let's hope she does. Uh, my others, mm. you are all welcome. Oh no. Oh no. My elders, our people say if we do not see Mwafo, we must see Wanko on our way to the market. You're right. Oh no, since our king is not well and he's not in the country presently, we cannot fold our hands and watch our lands being taken by the people of a new world. We must do something. Yes. Hey! Make sure you get. Okay, stop that rubbish. Oh, is it why you dropped a senseless and lame proverb? <laughs> Look, we must wait for our king to return. You must return. I refuse. My elders will not accept it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, elders, we must treat this matter. We will not wait for the king to return. Yes. We have all, all of our heads. Elders, we have heads. Yes. The king has only one head. We will not wait for him to return. Yes. Never. Yes. We will start now to do something. Yes. yes. Um, my people, no. 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 Uh, please, let's take it easy. There is no need fighting ourselves. We all know how delicate this matter is. Um, I have a good news for all of us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, Tell us the good news. That is the main reason why I called this meeting. Yes. <laughs> Our king, his majesty, will be returning next month. Uh -huh. ah, ah, ah. I thought he would stay up to one year. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was what they told him from the beginning. He's returning very soon. Is it true that the king is coming back next week? Yes. Is it the queen that told you that? No. Prince Desmond did. It. Okay. And I. What about the land dispute? Well, until the king is back. Yes. It's alright. Mother, this is my life we're talking about. You have no right to question me or tell me what to do with it. Natasha, you dare not say such. You are a princess. You do not have to sleep with any man until your bride price is paid. Mother, I know that. I hope you know better. Exactly what your brother said. And I'm saying the same. Mother, please. Chief Opina is a gentleman. He knows who I am. And he's going to do the right thing at the right time. Why is everyone making a problem out of nothing? Please. Mikey. Uh, oh no. 
You're highly welcome. Thank you. You're highly welcome. No, no. You're highly welcome. No, no. You're highly welcome. Yes. Hey. My friend. Hello. Yes, sir. Seriously speaking, since I left this village, I haven't achieved anything. Your son here cannot even boast of 15 naira. Nothing with me. I don't have a dime. Everything I try to lay my hands upon in the city becomes unsuccessful. All my mates there in the city are succeeding. All their businesses they are doing. They are all flourishing. But anything I try to put my hand, anything I venture in, anything I say, let me try this business, it will just collapse. Papa, me, I am tired though. I don't know if I am cursed or have a problem. I am tired. Don't worry yourself, my son. Eh? You've tried your best as a man. It will soon be okay, alright? It will soon be fine. Don't bother yourself. I'm tired. It's not easy. My hey. mates are, are enjoying themselves. I cannot even boast of 1,000 naira to feed. Three square me. In fact, two square me was a problem. Nothing was working out at all. Hey, Melike. As you can see, I'm on my way to Edgar's house. Ow. Soon be back. Hmm? I'll be back sooner or later. Okay? Good evening. What would I go inside and make myself comfortable with? Eh? Since I came back, but have you asked me if I'm hungry? I've not eaten anything and you're going to see someone else. What kind of life is this? Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this food is sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great one. So, um, how is life in the future? Life. Come on. <clears throat> but let me drink water for this question. You know, I used to hear people say, once you go to the city, you will make money. Hmm? But my own story was different. I went to the city and my life became miserable. No money, no food, no shelter. Even one square meal a day was very difficult for me. I was suffering. I was wallowing in poverty there all my years in the city. Can you imagine that I came back to this village with just 500 naira? 500 naira. Even when I came back, the bike man that took me from the junction to my house took 250 from me. And now what is remaining with me is just 70 naira. 17 naira that I was in bike that and got out and drink. Hmm. Life in the city is very fat. Mm -hmm. Let me not just say. Come on, go attack you. Hey, many my brother. Hmm? Once again, you are welcome back home. Hmm. The most important thing is that you came back alive. Exactly. Because when there is life, there is hope. Hmm? Yes, so. Hmm. Once there is life, there is hope. At least I'm alive. Yes, so. My hope didn't die in the city. I'm here. My brother, city life, eh? 
very difficult. Especially when you go to that place called Lagos. Don't near that place oh, if you don't have money. Ha! I suffered. In fact, wow. uh -huh, Adamna, I heard that you've given birth to a passing baby boy. Hmm? Where is he? My dear, God has answered my prayer. Mm. He gave us a bouncing baby boy. Come sit away, your chuku. I like your it. Chuku. That's his name. <laughs> yes. Hey, very wonderful. Ibo <laughs> blood. Yes, sir. Ibo blood. <laughs> Where is he now? Mm? Let me bless him. Oh. I'm now. That boy is very stubborn. Yeah. Very, very stubborn. He's like, he's crying inside. Yeah, he's like, his voice. They bring him outside now. Okay. He will disturb you. Ah. He will disturb you. Oh, yeah. Like, fair, like, sir. That's a dress. You need more food. Let me give you more food. Why? I need, like, a pot. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Okay. So, let me get you more, more food. Eh? Biko, biko. Biko, biko. 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 If you don't make it in the city, come back to your village. Also, it's a welcome for you. See, you need to understand me here. I am not saying that we cannot do this business some other time. All I'm saying is that I want my fiancé here to handle my problems. Just like that. So what are you going to do? I have to think. See, my friend, you don't have to kill yourself, huh? <laughs> don't go and have IBPO. Whosoever that says that you've not tried in this community, let him or her go to the city and return you with money. Yeah? I'll put you that in. Stop thinking. Everybody is in butter. It's not easy, oh. Educate. How many kids? Thank you so much for being a good friend. <laughs> Let me go to my father's house. Hmm? Okay. I will see you later. Okay. All right, no problem. Mm. Take care of yourself, huh? No, you too. <laughs> Remember your name, bro. Emily. Can we pull him out of the car? But why are you here? Hi. This is what I love for. Anyway. in a state of chopper if you don't help me out with this money. See, once I become the governor of the state, I would pay you times two of whatever money you give me now. My friends have deserted me. The bank has given me so much loan, they don't want to give me any more. Everybody's waiting for me to become the governor so that I can start paying them back. See, my love, I am certain to become the next governor of the state. Please. Baby, you don't understand me. I'm not saying I can't help you if I was in a situation where I can, but uh, from your political ambition, I know the amount of money you're talking about will be very huge. See, the company does not have it. Just borrow. Borrow. Okay? See, when, once I have the money, I will get back all the documents and I will pay every dime the company have spent on me. Trust me. I'll see what I can do. Help me. You're my last hope. Please. See, honey. In fact, I will pay you three billion naira once I become the next governor. Trust me. I promise you, it's a deal. Fine, I'll, I'll 
and think about it. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so hard. I mean, why must it be you? He should go and look for one of his rich friends and demand such amounts of money from them. This is not for you. Yes, I get where you're coming from, but the truth is a falling for the sky. Natasha. What? Where will you get such amount of money from? Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind. Come Faith, this is my husband to be that we're talking about. Faith, this is not the plan. I know it is not the plan. It was not the initial plan and that. But I just found myself falling deeply in love with the sky and this. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, he's got only two options to continue with his political ambition. It is either he pays the money or forget about the documents. Oh. I think you need to discuss this with your father, His Majesty. Oh, please. My father shouldn't be involved in this. Mildred. So what are you going to do? The company. After a long tussle regarding the land disputes in our kingdom, Today, I want to give judgment. Having looked into the matter, I have uh, researched also and widely consulted many people regarding the six lands that has been given problem in our kingdom. I hereby declare that the lands belongs to the Anubuki clan. This is not a good judgment. The judgment does not all go well. In as much as I'm from a new kingdom. I'm not a part to this. Leave my palace. I'm finished. Get up. Get up. May the gods vindicate the truth. It's a good one. And I don't want to see you anywhere close to my palace. You go. You go. You go. Anyoku has taken our properties. The king said the land which have been a case for so many years belongs to them, the people of Anyoku. If he spoke with justice, let his majesty continue. He said, but he, if he twisted the truth in order to favor his clan, may his throne leave his family. He said, may there be shame, shame in the royal house. He said, 
O gods of our lands, speak for the people of Ani. Speak for us. He said, let us go. Your Majesty. Yes. I don't think you made the right judgment. It's obvious. Even OKK, your brother, did not support you. This is strange. Now tell me. Are you the king? No. Are you the custodian of law in this kingdom? No, I am not. But... Then be silent. You do not speak of what you don't know. My judgment is final. Okay, can the rest are angry because Natasha sent their children out of the company? Haven't I tried for them? Haven't I? And who gave him the powers to counter my judgment? Who? It's, it's all right, my king. Nonsense. You're here. Uh, but, but what is it now? I've been calling you and you're not responding. Is there a problem? My son, I see a great danger about to befall this kingdom. Great danger? May the gods forbid. Ah. What is that you talking about? The gods will forbid if men will speak and rise to it. Papa, you are speaking in parables. What is it? What is going on? Your uncle can guard art, past and unfair judgment regarding the land dispute we have with the people of land. Why is he doing that? I mean, everybody knows that the land belongs to the people of land. Oh, you know? Of course I know. I know. Do you know that he favored the people of Anigo? Instead of giving back the land to the people of Ani that owns serious? the land. Hey! Papa, I don't know what is wrong with the king. He has a problem. He's very greedy. He's wicked. I don't know why he's like this. A callous king. I don't know. His problem is taking people's lands and properties to himself. Why? Without even giving to the, uh, 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 his people, his citizens. Who does that? Fine. Those, do you know that the company I was working for, those lands that are close to that place, he took everything to himself, whereas the lands are not his own. Why is your brother so wicked and greedy at the same time? Why? How did my brother become this greedy? It's a big question. How is that? I'm bad. Oh, Oh, 
Go, I come and go, I should not. Then I hope. Then you say the original. Whoa! Hello, we. Okay, Karaka. Oi. One now, okay. Our brother had to do something about this. We can't be fear of death and refuse to fall in line of battle. Hmm? I think he's making a very big mistake. Hmm. Mazio okay, okay. hmm? you have a key point. Yes, um, I will speak with him. Hmm. Yes, I will let him know that that judgment is not supposed to stand. Yes, despite is our king mm -hmm. but if he keep deaf yes that's okay okay i'll wash my hand off mm -mm 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 -mm. we we'll lose our brother now we still have to be talking to him until it gets into his head anyway like i said um i will speak with him but I will advise we allow the tension to die first. Don't you think so? I think you're right. Yes. You're right. Yes. <clears throat> Izuna, we the youths of Aniklan are displeased with the judgment of the king regarding to the land dispute. Even some elders of Aniku are standing firm that that land belongs to us. So, <clears throat> We want you as the youth leader to convey this bitter message to the king to call for the second hearing of that dispute with immediate effect. Ujika, I've heard you. Honestly, when I heard that the king favored an Yuko clan, I was shocked myself. I never believed that the king will favor a Nuku clan concerning <clears throat> that land, honestly. Ah, you see, it is totally unfathomable. It is very bad. Even my father is not in support of that. My father and I kicked against that totally. We don't like that rubbish. But you see, my friends, I think there is something fishy about that land. What could that be? Mildred, you're my sister's very close friend, correct? Very close. I, I want to know if you, you think my sister is doing the right thing. I mean, do you think she's well upstairs? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like, I'm lost here. Alright. Since you lost, I will help find you. You of all people know that my sister claims to be highly intellectual and vast in all aspects of life, including business. Yes. So as a close friend, I want you to rate her. Sincerely? Sincerely, please. Well, 8 over 10. 8 over 10. Indeed. So tell me, who's this Obina guy? Who's this guy that's making her walk with her head so high? Do you know him very well? My prince. I mean, he is your in-law. And you should be the one to... I'm not to... disputing that fact. I just want to know if you know him so well. Well, I know that he is my friend's fiance and a prospective in-law to you. That's all I know. Please, drink up. And thank you very much for honoring my No. This is 
serious one. So, what are you going to do about it now? I'm planning to meet with the king. Mm. To discuss about it or where? Yes, of course. Now, do you know what I heard? I heard that there is stones and crude oil in that land. That is why the king decided to favor the Anyoko people. Woman, hmm? speak what you know. Keep on, keep on speak what I know. Are you saying that the market people that are talking about it, they don't know what they're saying? Eh? Are you saying they don't know what they're saying? After all, it's someone that is speculating the news. I did not discuss this with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Period. Now you know. You know, I want us to discuss this thing very well because I need to be sure. Oh no. If not, then you might be loud. I would have thrown you out of this palace. Your Majesty. Yes. How dare you stand to counter my judgment regarding the land at Oji? How dare you? You and I know the truth. That land does not belong to us. It belongs to people of Ani. The next time you see before me to talk back of me, I will chop off your head. Then let me die for the truth I know of. You are supposed to stand for the truth and fairness for the people of this kingdom. Even our own father defended the truth. Our family is known for openness and truth. Your Highness. Even the gods will tell me to leave that land for the commoners. This is for you. Wow. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I actually did this for you because I always want the best for you. I always want you to live up to your dreams. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. You're welcome. Love you. Thank you so much again. Um, I'll make you my queen forever, okay? Come on. <laughs> Let me take you to a real paradise. What are you talking about? Going to miss it. No, no, no. I am tired. No, no, no. <laughs> what does he mean? This man returned from London and become sick in the head. No, 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 no. Oh no, I cannot support such info. He cannot give such judgment. It's not, it's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. No, I won't no, I can't help you. Hey. What's wrong with him? Here, my wife, my dear. These are coming in here. Look at the way he went past such judgment. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? We don't know. And Cloud, that land belongs to them. Mm. Because you're from Ani Abi? No, 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 no. It's obvious. People are talking about My it. friend, you're talking rubbish. Huh? Let me tell you. That land belongs to us, the Anuku clan. Our forefathers single-handedly gave that land to us. Really? Oh, you know, we just decided to give you guys the land. And now you want to take it back. It's not a problem, Abi. Eh? My dear, let me tell you. You need to go and search properly. Do your research very well. That land belongs to us. In fact, I don't want to argue this thing with you. Mm. Please, better. I want to go home. Better, better. Oh. Imagine. Look at her. It belongs to your, 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 your land. It belongs to your land. Biggie, biggie, one. Biggie, biggie, one. Biggie, biggie, one. It's not crying. This baby is just, no. just his father's carbon copy. Eh? Nonsense! Eh? Nonsense! Because the girl chose him to be our king. That's what you have to do in the house. Eh? It can never happen. No, you're welcome. Papa, you're welcome. Please get me water. I am very pissed off. I am pissed oh. off right now, please. Sorry. Nonsense! Ina, please calm down. Calm down. You're just returning from, from the palace. It can never happen. It cannot happen. Mm. It cannot happen. What am I life? Hmm? What is the problem now? Hey! Eh? Mm. Hey! 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 
people to know Mama, what happened to Batu Benin Zero? Mama, what happened? I don't know. Let him speak. Mama, what happened at the palace? King Abad. King Abad threatened to throw me, his own beloved, out of the palace. Can you imagine that? Mama, why? Why? He gave the land of Aniklan to us! Ooh. Wait. You mean the land at Oji? Mom! Mom! We, as his brothers, expected him to give these people back their land. Yeah, that's what you expected. Eh? That land does not belong to Anuku clan. Bah! I cannot support evil. Even the others of Anuku clan were regressive. For what? Hey! I knew that land. That land belongs to Anuku clan. Yes. Then why is he giving this to us? Hmm. Papa, Papa, that, that, that man is becoming so mean like his daughter. Yes! Arual. What is wrong with him? Why is he behaving like that? This is serious. That is wickedness in the bloodline. Like father, like daughter. Arwala! See, let me tell you. He must revise that judgment. Otherwise, it will be a total fall of his head. Mm. Yes! Mm. He has allowed materialism to lose his head. That is another abomination for a king as that. Hmm. Our tradition frowns at an unjust king. Mm -hmm. I know why I'm saying it. I have said my own. Papa, you don't understand. That land has some mineral resources. And the king's intention is to claim everything to himself. Papa, it will never happen. But my husband is from Ani. And for this time around, I'm going to stand by him and I'll back him up. Mm -hmm. why, why, is he, why is he behaving like that? Mm -hmm. Set here, mm -hmm. you smell war. Aye. But it will not happen. Mm -hmm. The gods of our land will not allow it to happen. Aye. Wicked people. Who forbid? Yes, mother. I'm having slight fever and headache. Are you sure? Because <laughs> this is not slight headache proof. I hope you know what you're doing. Mother, I'm, I don't understand. Are you saying that I am pregnant for a man who has not even dropped a penny on my head? I did not say so. I am a princess. I know what I am doing, mother. I know you are a princess. I also know you know the customs and traditions of this land. Mother, I do. <coughs> She has been on air for the past few days now. She's going through a lot to make sure the company survive this hard time. She has sacrificed a lot. And all she could get is pregnancy insinuation here and there. Woman, watch your mouth. My daughter is a princess and she's grounded with the customs and traditions of our people. She knows the consequences of getting unwanted pregnancy. This throne, the crown, will be gone. Woman, watch your mouth and allow my daughter to run the company in peace. I am sorry. You better be.
Please, can I say something about this land? No. You are a woman of an clan. And you are rejoicing because your people are fighting against me. This is the most surprising news I've ever had in my whole life. Come to think of it, how can the princess be pregnant? Huh. Let us not conclude so fast. Because to me, it's impossible for the princess to get pregnant. And you know she hates men. I wouldn't allow anyone to come close to her. I'm not talking about getting pregnant. I wish that is possible. I mean, if the princess is truly pregnant, I would be happy. Because I equal will reduce once and for all. Would oh, you what? I've said my mind. What is going on in this kingdom? I mean, what is going on? What is wrong with our king? Why is he acting like a demigod? Huh? He is tempting the wrath of the gods. Can you imagine that? First of all, he chased my father, the honorable of this kingdom, out of the palace. And now he's doing the same to my husband. Huh? You can. Ikem, where are you going to? Stay and take care of our baby. I'm coming. Where are you going to? Come back! What's wrong? What, where is he going to? What's going on here? Baby! No, 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 this. This, this can be. Mr. My Beard. Does it mean I am pregnant? Ha! Huh? No. Oh, my goodness. Mildred, I want to see you in my office right now. Just leave whatever you're doing and come now. I mean now. Thank you. Mildred. Yes. Did you say you were on your floor? Yes. Why do you ask? And I normally see my own after yours. I'm supposed to see this with, right? Yes. I mean, I, I normally see mine on the fourth, and yours is like around um, six, seven. Oh my God. Wait. Have you not seen your period? I haven't. As a matter of fact, it came out last month. It didn't even come out at all. This month, it just ran for two days, and that's it. It's supposed to be for four days. Natasha. What? Am I pregnant? What? Am I pregnant? Oh my god. You have to go and see him. Oh my god. You have to see him fast so that he will pay your dowry before they notice. Oh my god. Natasha, this is a taboo. Why didn't you use protection? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You just scared. What do I do? Oh. Oh. oh god. You can't be pregnant. Your Majesty, a wise man listens to the counsel of his kinsmen. 
but a fool refused to give ear to wisdom. As, um, as you can see, I am a wise and a wealthy king. That your parable is not meant for me. You are suddenly becoming arrogant to the gods and to the people of this great kingdom. Earthworms are eating your flesh, King Ebert. But you think it is a tickle. You have failed. But you think you have not. It is a matter of time. It shall surface. I have not offended the gods. And none of my family have. So tell me. What do I own this uninformed visit? Your great grandfather gave the land to his younger brother, Aninta. Because Aninta saved his soul, saved his life in the battlefield. The reason you are living today and breathing is Aninta. Had he been Aninta, he hated his elder brother, Anyoku. He would have allowed the poisonous spear to pierce deeply into his soul. He suffered decades upon decades. But his reward for all his effort is that land which you decreed as a new land. King Ebert, the soul of your ancestors are not pleased with you. Reverse your judgment now. Reverse your judgment now. As a more the land belongs to a new clan. Gift can be taken back. As a more that is my decree. It's unreversible. A call of death, I see. A call of death I see you, King Ebert. From when a dog wants to die, it does not perceive it as green. Things are happening, but you are too blind. You are too blind to see, King Ebert. A word is enough for a king. If you are here because of what happened today, I don't talk about it. And that's my problem with you. You never give me attention. Because I am not Natasha. Well, I get it. But further, I advise you tune it down a bit. Because ever since you got back from the UK, you have drastically changed. If you don't want me to ask the guards to throw you into the palace cell, Get out this minute. Your Majesty. That land is full with milk and honey. And you go must be blinded not to See it all. That land belongs to us. And nothing, nothing will make me change my mind. Not at all. Nothing will make me to change my mind. All right, sit down. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I can see this is your first time in my house. Yes. 
It's a okay. fine house. <laughs> well, thank you. As Governor Asper, this is one of my guest houses. And uh, you can make yourself comfortable. What can I offer you, please? Um, nothing, sir. Actually, I came to give this file to you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I understand that she cannot set her eyes on me right now until I do the right things. Yes, sir. It's the culture. And you have to do something very fast. If not, sir, the royal family will be dethroned if people find out. Yeah, I understand. I know. I know it's the culture. I mean, she's pregnant for me and she's not allowed to set her eyes on me until I come and pay her bread price. Yes, sir. I know that and uh, I'm working seriously to see that I come to do that. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So that's very good. That's good. So, when are you coming? Actually, uh, me and my family were thinking about coming this weekend, you know, to meet with the King 101. Wow. Do wow. the right thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure Natasha can't wait, sir. Of course, of course. Please, let me get you something. I can see you at and stuff, okay? And uh, the sun is very hot outside. Please, okay. excuse me. Uh, would you like uh, wine, juice? Anything, sir. All right, I think uh, I know what to do. Okay. Okay. There you are. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's welcome. kind of you. Thank you. <sighs> mm. The juice is nice. Thank you. So tell me. Tell me something about you. <laughs> well, I'm just me. Uh, anyway, sir, I wanted to thank you so much for making my friend happy. Oh. <laughs> you see, Princess Natasha is my is my kind of woman. I really love her and I can't wait to have her in my house to spend wow. the rest of my life with him. I'm sure she can't wait to. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? Uh, Mother, you need to talk to father. Talk to him to reverse his judgment. I mean, the history is fact. So factual that even a toddler knows about it. Mother, I think this is a test. They are trying to test father to see what he will say. And obviously, father is a big flop. 
mind your language. Well, I'm sorry, Mother, but things will get out of hand if Father continues to prove resistance. There will be chaos between us and the people of Annie. Of course, you know my two uncles are already on their side. Yes. So if Father decides to go to war, it's going to be a lose for us. Well, you know how rigid and pragmatic your father is. But he's your husband and you can talk to him. Why don't you talk to him, mother? Are you aware that your sister flew to Abuja for the past two days now? Mother, can we focus on what is at hand and not talk about Natasha now? I am more concerned about the words of Ezemo. Yes. It was eating on your father's head. And he thinks he's being tickled. Now, your father is so blind to see what is about to happen to him. Those words portrays evil. And to avert this evil, father has to reverse his judgment and allow the people of Ani take over that land in peace. Son, I just wish you will understand. Mother, you can melt that man's heart with your kind words. He is your husband. I've done that, even before now. You know what? Your father is a very stubborn king when it comes to his judgment. Yes, so that is what is happening. You are not in the company anymore. I heard that you are now working a little girl. Hmm. Babe, you really enjoy it. No? Yes, so as you can see, mm -hmm. this is a small world indeed. Yeah. My dear sister, when one door closes, yes. another door opens. Exactly. Uh -huh. So tell me, what were you saying about Princess Natasha? Hmm. Mm. Did I travel all the way from our village to come and tell you lies? I said Natasha is now madly in love. Mm. The crazy most annoying princess who preaching the word of God to us to be high on lady without her mom. Huh. My dear, I thank God because she did not spoil the marriage. Hmm. My dear, she did not though. Yeah. I stood my ground. Yes. Although it wasn't easy. Yes. yes. But I have to stand my ground. And today, I am eating the fruit of my labor. Wow! Yeah. So look at me, I'm working in a better company uh -oh. right now. Doing very well than the company I was before. Yes. Princess Natasha's father's company. Uh -uh. Is that not a breaking news? Wow! Breaking that news, not this <laughs> We are seeing things in that company, babe. We are seeing things. Are you serious? She's not even in the town. And what do you mean? I'm suspecting something. Okay. It's like Princess Natasha is pregnant. Oh yes, she is pregnant. No way, huh? <laughs> Princess Natasha. Uh huh. The so-called feminist. Yes, so. No, 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 not Princess Natasha. Her bed. Is she not a woman? She was fooling us then. She has fallen. Her ties are crushing her now. Huh. I pity the innocent workers like this. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know what it means for the princess of this kingdom to be pregnant out of wedlock? Huh? We are destroying cash fire. Let the cash fire now. Ha, huh, please. I want to carry your baby. Please. <laughs> the baby is sleeping. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't okay. worry, some other time you will carry. Really? Yes. Thank you. Hey! The princess is pregnant. <laughs> eh? Wait, are you sure of what you're saying? She's pregnant. Hmm. Is she not aware of the customs and tradition of this land? My dear, it shocked me too. I'm in shock. I'm in shock of it. Like I was surprised. A whole feminist princess. Hmm. The princess of this land, pregnant. Hey. Well, I, um, she deserves it. About it and let's talk of something else because the world has ears. Is there a problem? <laughs> you see, she deserves it. If she's pregnant, she deserves it. After all, she sacked you because of your husband. Okay. okay? okay. And she sacked me because of my girlfriend, Amaka. 
You see that Kama now is working. Kama is a bitch. Yes, so. Uh -huh. Kama is a bitch. Nice one. Ah. Nice one. Hey, I'm. What about the king? Has he called the elders? The king. Yes. Hey, otherwise why are you sounding as if you don't know who the king is? That man is a tyrant. A king that cannot even listen to Ezemo. He doesn't respect Ezemo at all. Not to talk about the elders of this village. No, no. Please, let's uh, forget about the king and any other thing. That is not why I'm here. I'm here for something more important. I, I hope all is well. The world's has is. Mother, you're my cousin. Okay. You're my favorite cousin for that matter. You know, I want to please beg you for something more important. I am suffering. In fact, I've been suffering ever since I lose my job. You know my plight in this village. You know my situation. You know my condition. I am jobless. I don't have anything. The last time I came here, I told you how much I came back to the village with. Just 500 naira. So please, help me. Eh? Help me look for a job. Let me not die in this village. Biko, eh? in that your work, your local government's work, help me look for one and secure it for me. I promise I will work very fine and make money. I don't want to come here every day and beg you for money. Eh? Please, talk to your husband for me. You guys can do something. Eh? Help I me, I will die you. No, please, it's okay. You don't have to think about that, okay? Please, oh, I don't want to lose you. You will not die. I promise you one thing, that I will make sure that you get a job in local government, okay? Please. Because I know you're hardworking. Please. I know you what you can do. You're not Please. a lazy man. To me. Me? Ah! Nothing. Ah! God, I'm, I'm naked. I am naked. My, my clothes are on the floor. What did you do to me? It is nothing to you. You fell asleep, so I brought you up here and you started touching me. Well, <laughs> me? Me touched you? Yes. You're a big liar. That's a big fat lie. How could I talk? Mitra, what do you want to hear from me? Huh? Oh God, oh God. You, you, you dropped me. You dropped me. That's the only explanation. <laughs> Come on, don't be a kid, okay? Come on, Mitra. Don't be a kid. Okay, fine. I dropped you. But is that a story you're going to tell to Princess Natasha? <laughs> She's not going to believe you. Okay? So just lay back. If she calls you, don't pick up. Just sleep. I should relax. I should relax. God, you're a monster. You are a disgusting monster. I can't, I can't even believe this. God. Oh my God. You need to take me home right now. Right now! Baby, monsters don't drive my kind of cars. Pick up your call, Mitred. Pick up! Why is she not picking her calls? It's driving me nuts. Pick up, pick up. Oh, goodness God. Why is she not picking her calls? Huh?
coisas desse. I saw it here, this spot. As I was about going to the beach to take my bet, I saw the car here. I don't know what it means. In this house? Just here, this spot you're standing on. I'm serious. Hey. Yes. You know what? You keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. You keep it a secret. Okay. Do you understand? And right now, I don't want you to go out again. Huh? You remain here and see if you have this again. This is a message. I don't want to assume. Okay? But you said I should not go out. Uh, and I should keep it as a secret. Yes, yes, yes. Please, I want to know. I am curious. What is the meaning of this? Eh? What is it doing in our house? I mean, again, the meaning will be very clear. But not now. Uh, yeah. Papa, you're scaring me. Through I just came out from the house. I didn't know I did not bring it from inside. I saw it here. I picked it and you came now. Just tell me. I, my hands are clean now. Hey, eh? I don't know any, I don't want to have any issue with the girls or any hey, problem. Mini, okay. I know what I'm saying. Don't be scared, okay? Eh? Don't be scared. Come on, get out! Ah! My prince! So it's you! Yes, it's me. What's going on? We just said that you're twin sister now. You know they you know they find trouble. You know they say that you're twin sister now. Ah! But no problem, huh? All the same, we have a message for your father. Okay. <clears throat> Please tell him to reverse that judgment before the next AK market day. Else, there will be trouble in that royal house. Look at our faces, we are not smiling. Please do tell him that. Yes, I will tell my father that. Yes, My prince. Thank you. Thank you. something about this land dispute and you have to do it now. Is there any problem? Oh yes, mother, there's a problem. On my way back, some youths from Annie clan intercepted me. 
they were looking fearless. They were looking mad and angry. They were looking like they were ready to die for this cause. They told me to tell my father that he should reverse his judgment before the next AK market day. Else, this royal house will be on fire. Father, you need to have seen these boys. They were looking so angry. You need to do something about this, Father. Is that all? What? Did that make sense here? Yes, you are not. But you and your mother leave my presence. As for those bandits, I will deal with their leader. Father, they are not bandits, but youths from any clan. Think about this. Your Majesty. What is going on here? Madam, it's of your best interest that you do not obstruct our duties here as police officers. Young man, move in. No, my husband is not a criminal. Madam, if you want to know what your husband has done, why don't you join us at the police station after that? My husband is going to see! Wait, wait, look at my husband! Wait! Move in! Come! Hold in! Why are you taking my husband? Oh. You are a chief. Obi Nawaha, right? Yes, Your Highness. The one that wants to marry my daughter. Yes, Your Highness, you're correct. I see. Well, I've, I've heard a lot about you. You are contesting for governorship election. <laughs> yes. That's good. Very good. <laughs> you must have a lot of money. Because that's a high position. Exactly. <laughs> Not just money. I have a, I have a very deep uh, vision for the state. Your Highness, I have been meaning to come and pay you a homage uh, since you returned from London. But you know, uh, political meetings here and there, campaigns and all that has taken my time. Oh, I understand. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, you're welcome. Just be assured of my community votes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Highness. And that would mean a lot to me. Honestly. <laughs> Thank you. What has my son-in-law did to you that he had to send securities to nab him like a criminal? Your Highness, who is this? Oh no. Have you lost it? Release that boy with immediate effect. I can see the days of your reign is coming to an end. You've stepped beyond your bounds. Guards! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please. Please. Leave now. If I feed your flesh, please, your dogs. Please, Your Majesty, please. please. Release him now. I won't repeat myself again. Okay, fine. I will. Your Highness, is that your move? Yes, please. Oh, no, Your Highness. He's too small for my liking. Imagine the way he was ranting here. Before a king. It's been like a sense of my fault. I'm sorry about I'm sorry about that, my your highness. Uh, <clears throat> like I said. Hi babe. Yes, I am sorry. Yes, I know, I know. I am so sorry, okay? I was in a meeting when you called and uh, you know how the political meeting goes. You know, we always have meetings. In fact, I'm so stressed off right now. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I got the fire from Midwest. You know, I didn't get the time to talk to her. I was in the board meeting when she came, so I just discharged her and got the fires. Are you coming to the house later? Oh, you're in the airport. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait to see you. Love you. Yeah.
going on there? Maeda and my brother, it's of necessity that when we get to the police station, you find out what he has done. Hey, please, you can just tell us now. This is how I know who you're talking about. Sir. That, tell us what happened, please. Let's just settle things and make a block, all right? Please. The police is your friend. If you want to join us, you can join us to the station. When we get there, you find out what he has done. I'll follow them. I'll follow them. You better follow them. know what happened. You can't just get arrested or know like that. Hey! Eh? Alo! Oh, no. Alo! No, 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 Papa! Hey. Papa, are you going? Alo! Father, why are you like this? Why are you dehumanizing your own subject? Why, Father, why? Father, I am talking to you. What in the name of the God is wrong with you? Your days are not bad. You touched the rod of the God with your bare hands. The police will soon come for you if you don't leave this palace this moment. Leave my palace! <laughs> you wear all bats. You are just a walking corpse. <laughs> what? Father, you are so impossible. Gosh! How did it go? Prince Desmond bailed out of us. <sighs> His father, the king, has beaten more than he can chew. I know. His days are numbered on the throne. For laying his hand on my father, who is the owner of this kingdom, he has beaten more than he can chew. He has crossed the limits. <sighs> so tell me, did he lay hands on you? No. So what was your offense? That I rebelled against the king. That I was trying to kidnap the prince. Okay. All sort of cock stories. Can you imagine? I want nonsense. <sighs> Flimsy excuses. Izuna. It's okay. I have suffered. I have suffered in this village. This is okay. Hmm? Hmm? My lord, calm down. Hmm? Look at how I was humiliated by the king. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Let me just um, draw water for you to freshen up and eat, okay? Hmm? <gasps> <gasps> that man, his days are not. But then, what are you? Are you serious? Papa, I am serious. In fact, I am 100% serious. Eh? Let me tell you what happened. King Albert has arrested our youth leader, Izuna. Eh? Yes. Izuna has been arrested by our king. The king said that uh, Izuna, they are, they are just, you know, instigating violence in the kingdom. And they are also planning to kidnap the king and Prince Desmond. Imagine what your brother is doing. Hey, Imagine. Albert. Our brother is not like this before now. I don't know this thing. What came over our brother? I don't know. Eyes of the gold. Greetings, Mazio Keke. You're welcome. Your son, Ebenike, has been chosen to be the king of this kingdom. The gods have rejected King Ebert and his household. Prepare him. Prepare him. I knew it. I knew it. That cowrie. Huh? Royal cowrie. 
I knew it. Yeah, Nico. Yeah, I made it happen. Yeah, you really made it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are the man. I told you. The game changer. He is you. a game changer. You know, I told you he was going to win, but you didn't listen. Now he won. Yes. <laughs> so your yes. five million is Jabba. Uh, you know, that's his game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. So I, I put it to him. Well, you have one. Congratulations. He's a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> bro! Congratulations, bro. Five million. Mm -hmm. Five million. Nice. <laughs> Give you one. Oh, get an half, yo. Get one. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Oh, get an half, yo. Look what we have to pull out here. Well, and now she said, babe, so you need to answer. Hey, babe. What's going on here? <laughs> How did you get to know me, Jonah? All right, guys, enough. Enough. <laughs> All right, let him talk. <laughs> Princess Natasha. It's a game over, all right? It was all a game, and I'm done playing the game. It's unfortunate that you're pregnant. What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. What's the game? Uh, if you want a game, uh, my probability. <laughs> well, let me uh, explain to you. These two guys here are my close friends from way back, okay? And we played this game on your head, that whoever Deflates your pride and ego. We go home with five million naira cash. Cash that he wanted. <laughs> and I happen to be the best player. Yes. You know, actually, he he believed you're not going to win, but now you won. That's a summary here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you trying to say that this is a sick job? Wait. You're not real. <laughs> My darling princess Natasha. I am not real, my dear, and I'm never going to be real. Everything about me is fake. I am never a politician, neither do I own any property. I have nothing. If you look at me from head to toe, it's all fake. It's just my strategy to get people like you. Yeah. So wake up from your sleep and give uh, Maluma will be able to you know, Natasha, you were actually thinking you were going to own all the property. Now, property go by a <laughs> Property, now you go by a uh, you know, Listen, there are people you don't uh, subdue or subject to, all right? And these people are him, me, all of us. You can't do that to us, okay? Rubbish. And I am pregnant with you. You are nothing but a slimy bastard. Now I need all the documents to my properties. I want to have my documents right now. It's too Else! Late. It's too late. Don't be a fool, Princess Natasha. Not a joke. Do not be a fool. You are nothing but a useless miscreant. That is what you are. You are a dumb head. You know, I told you. I told you you will fail. I told you you will regret ever meeting someone like me. Now listen, let me tell you. This guy here is my friend. I will play the game on your head. And he won. <laughs> and that's the game. You are a loser. I will advise you to get your dirty axe out of this house. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've said it all, Collins. That is part of the game. <laughs> Bruce, how manage? How did you do this? Like you brought down her ego and was not gonna hide in bed just like that. Yakata. <laughs> Guys, you've seen the picture. I know they make mouth. Obviously. I am master in this game. See? Marathon sex back to back. This princess Sabi Forget this form where she's from. As I they give her, she did zam, 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 zam. She did respond. Two four seven Makino. Uh, really? <laughs> you lost that. Yeah, the prince. <laughs> Forget this babe. You she, bad. Yeah. She bad, but she could be formless like nothing. Okay. My dear princess, I want you to also know that that bastard in your womb is also a king. 
Well, princess, to your best interest, I want you to get this into your score, your empty score. Do not have in the back of your mind to return to this house for this bastard in your womb. Because this house is also a game. Do you understand? I have a mother. It's all a game. Well, I, guys, I think we should leave this house for her to stay since she wants to be here. I promise you. She won't be brought in jail. She won't be brought in hell. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> you know what, Princess Natasha? You do not threaten me the jail. You won't want us the jail. Let me have my document. Let me have my document. Are you crazy? Let me have my document. 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 Let me have you insulted the honorable and refused to hear to the voice of the ghost. Your daughter has broken the sacred law of the royal house as well. As a more, you know I fear no one. What you are talking is our nonsense. So what do you want? <laughs> King Abbas! You are leaving the palace today, dead or alive. <laughs> no way. That charm with you will not save you this time because your daughter has neutralized it by having a child in her womb. Natasha. Yes. An illegitimate child. I'm sorry. Sorry, Father. I I don't know what came, I don't know what got over me. What have you done? You have dropped doom to the palace. And your father has passed a wrong judgment to the clan of Anne. He refused to reverse his judgment. He assaulted the only one, thinking he has a fetish protection. Igwe Albert, you have only today to evacuate the palace. You face the wrath of the gods. We shall see them. to the grave with the cops. You have been warned! So help your father. So I'm weak. No father. You refuse to listen to the voice of the gods. Now look at you. Natasha. Natasha! Natasha, you have killed your father. I saw his coming, but he deceived us all. He has killed my husband. He said, please do something. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. You discredited the secret law of the palace. <laughs> I'm sorry. The new king has a match. 
not not from this family. What? Forgive her. You know your father is dead. If you kill her, what will happen to me? Mother! Please! She killed my father! <laughs> oh, my dear Natasha! I thought you were hard to get. But no! You ugly! You fucking man! Full scanner! And got pregnant for him! Sorry. Natasha! Help me! Oh, father! Stop the house! No! Because that is all I have! That is all that belongs to me right now! I will never forgive you. I swear! I will never forgive you! I will never forgive you! What is anyone talking about? This is this with um, the person. I will tell you, Chief of Obina. They, they scammed me. They, they, they duped me. They took everything away from me. I gave them everything. What? I gave them all the documents to all the eh? documents of all the properties. What? I didn't... What? 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 I knew all this while that you've been fooled. I told you. But you wouldn't listen. Because you thought you were smarter than me. We lost a job. Because father suddenly became a tyrant to his subject. We lost everything. We are no longer royals. But I can no longer become king in my own kingdom. What I've always dreamt of. What I've always prepared myself for. All thanks to you and Father. Thank you. It's okay, son. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Guys, I told you I am master in this game. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the almighty princess could bled. Yes, I told you I would do it. And I did it. You are the game master. Cheers to that. Cheers, bro. <laughs> I am happy now. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Police? Officers. These are the criminals. I have always known you a thief. Yes, you, Obina. But I let everything play out because I had my eyes on you. You thought you were smart to try to steal my company from me? The police snapped you today because they have been watching your every move with my sister. And at the break of it, here you are. That's so painful and disheartening that my sister could open her legs for you to impregnate her. That, that is a shame. I will leave it for the rest of my life. But I promise you, she will never see the break of dawn again. Yes. Please, my promise. 
I am sorry. We can work something out. Please. Look at you. Prince Ogona! The thing that you were my friend. You could not with this miscreant to do this to me and my family. <sighs> All because you wanted to get back at my sister. Fine. You enjoyed us in hell. Because I will fight with the last drop of my blood to ensure that you all spend the rest of your lives in jail. No, my friends, please. I assure you. Please. We can settle this. My friends. Let's friends. work out something. We have very good friends. You can do this to me. You can document. You. I believe this am I. Officers. My friends. Hey. Get this man up here. I am a crown prince. I am a crown prince. Move. Come down. I shot him, but I lost everything I love. Officer, come down. I can't believe you're not. 